welcome to Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning. That's me. Baldi's Basics? Is this Q-tip going to beat us to death with that ruler? Looks like you already know what will be ensuing here. This is Baldi's Basics, a horror game where we go back to school to learn our ABCs. This wouldn't be a problem if the Biden administration didn't hand you IHOP napkins telling you how to sit. How to sit? It was the instruction sheet for board meetings. Oh, well, were yours written on a Denny's menu, Don? Are you kidding me? I'm a professional, very professional. I only accept the highest quality of embroidered papers. So a Popeye's menu then? Actually, it was Zaxby's, but you're not too far off. What the? Did his arm just bend backwards? So we're in a schoolhouse. I guess we should just explore around now. Reminds me of my days back in the prime of my youth. Business and babes, beautiful babes, that was the name of the game. Uh, interesting tenure from what I've heard. Math equals more math. Now it's time for cool. everybody's favorite subject, math. Joe, leave this to the professionals. First grade math isn't for everyone. Listen to what Baldi is saying. Seems simple enough. Are we actually a first grader or something? He's narrating to us like we can't comprehend multiplication. Well, this is a pretty obvious answer. I can't believe it. You're incredible. Did helium gas get to his head? We did basic math, not the theory of relativity. Well, so far, these are pretty basic questions. I can't believe it. You're incredible. This is a horror game, though, so my guess is that it's only going to get worse from here. Seems like pretty easy questions so far, even for me. Wow, you exist. How passive aggressive. Wait, do we actually, do I look homeless to you? Wait. Okay, so I guess we have to collect seven notebooks then? Wait, what does it mean we can't hide from Baldy? Interesting thing to put on an entire chalkboard. Can't wait to hear about the lore in this game. And there we go. What the? What's happening here? Dyslexia is hitting right now. I don't even know. What is happening? It's like nails on a chalkboard. Who stuck a fork in the VCR player? I don't know what to put here. This guy looks like a Redditor. He might like this number. He did not like that number, Obama. He's frowning, in fact. I hear every door you open. Well, somebody opened the door to detention. Wait, did you hear that? Hear what? Oh, that's not good. Is he chasing after us now? After we got that chicken scratch wrong? You guessed it. Now, Brock, it's up to you to be able to collect the rest of these seven notebooks without getting caught by Baldy. I don't mind that, but what's all this other garbage in my ears? Is that a giant globe? Is the high school musical reboot taking place in South Atlanta this time? Who's this child in front of me? Just open the blue door. Try to see if we can do any more reality-breaking math problems. Yeah, it looks like we got more now. At least they're easy math questions. Let's just give it time. And there it is. Yeah, you really can't do anything on that one. I get angrier for every problem you get wrong. I didn't even notice that he's not talking in the bottom corner anymore. He must be turbo angry. If you can't tell, this will obviously become a problem the deeper you get into the game, since you most likely will always have a problem you can't get right. Great, he'll probably be zooming around on, on a go-kart by the time we have all the books. Zero clue at what that was, but I'm just gonna avoid it entirely. This is an actual nut house. Who's that guy sticking his finger in the air like he's banging Casper or something? That's the principal. He'll send you to the office if you're caught running around the halls. What happened to keeping the lore a secret? Are you complaining that he answered your question? To be honest, there isn't really a lot of story in this game. You were just here in Baldy School. Pretty flat game, which is a change of pace to what we usually play. What's that noise? No, I don't want to play. Run, Obama. She's right behind me. No! Wait, you have to play jump rope? Yeah, it's like a stunt. Wait, Baldy's right there. I'm dead. Get out of there. I can't. No! Horrible jump scare, but at least I didn't fall out of my chair. Wow, you didn't even say hello to him. Old billiard ball plunged inside us with a ruler last time. I think I'll skip the pleasantries. I'm really wondering how we even got here in the first place. It seems like Baldy is really welcoming of just random people in his school. Barack, trust me, it really isn't that complicated in this game. I mean, we're going to come across a living broom. Um, best not to question it too much. Yeah, let's just pick up our outsourced labor earnings and hightail it out of here. 
I have full confidence that you're capable of beating this game, Donald. Partial for me, well, not really any, actually, but don't let that discourage you. I know we have our differences, but is there something that we can all agree on? That Baldy's nose is like a deflated balloon. You think it would be easy because Joe and I are in the same party, but Donald is such a man of opposition. Yeah, I guess you thinking for yourself is illegal nowadays. It's a, it's a daily spectacle when you take a look at the Biden administration. I didn't know keeping government records without authority was thinking for yourself. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Do we have any fellow means that we can shake hands on? It's the finger guy. What does he do again? That's the principle. If you sprint around him, he'll put you into detention. So be careful the time when you sprint. Baldy's not even the principal of his own school. That's right, move along. These aren't the elderly men that you're looking for. Slick move, Don. Well, what do you guys think of football? Oh yeah, I like football. I, I played wide receiver and halfback during my college days. Did you really? And I get another scribble question so we get it wrong again. But how the times have changed. You went from half back, probably an average one for the time, to having half of a back. All that big talk when you were probably just a lineman. I was actually supposed to be a pro baseball player. I was a star in the making at NY State. Best I ever coached is what all the instructors would say. How the times have changed. You went from hitting balls to talking about them. Listen, I still stand by that spring trap comment. It was a question that needed to be answered. People made a very good note in the comments. Why were you concerned about someone else's balls? I think we're getting off topic. Do we really have anything in common? And deflecting the question as usual. Uh, I can't think of anything. What do you guys think of Boris Johnson? He said uh, some pretty choice stuff about my ethnicity, but I don't exactly hate the guy. What sort of torture cafeteria are we in? SCP just got a new update. Anyways, I'm in the same boat with Boris. Well, without the racism part. Okay, don't get upset when I say this, but he looks like your younger brother. I mean, I, I don't necessarily disagree. He can certainly act like it at times. Oh, are you serious? I think he's far away enough where you should be able to complete the jump rope. That's assuming Don can even jump a rope. Yeah, get out of my face. It's always the pesky children that harass you. What do you mean Boris can act like it at times? Well, whenever we would cross paths at conventions or his trips to the US, I always found him riding my heel. Not gonna lie, I think you're in a dead end here. Trust me. I know what I'm doing here. I'll set up for him to come in here and I'll drag him to the floor. Oh, what? You were still within his grab radius so you couldn't go around him. Well, this is depressing. I just got cleaned like earwax. Well, this is just the precursor. The next video is where the heat turns up. Wait, we're already done. We just got into the video. Donald made a whole community post where we turn up. An eight minute video is not putting the pedal to the metal, Joe. How do you even know it'll be eight minutes? You'll probably cut me off or something. All right, no holding back. Time to lock in now. Let me recap our plan of attack here. We need to collect the seven notebooks, and he's going to get faster with each one. Very fast. Yep, being completely honest here, there's no funny twist or surprise in store for you guys. Collect the seven books, and that's all you need to do to complete the activities around the school. What does this quarter even do, Joe? You can buy different things from vending machines. Once you'll find one, you'll know what each item can do. So we really are playing for penny candy right now. The party never ends with Baldy. We might as well just get things started. Is there an actual right answer to this that you can just guess? No, the door to the rest of the school opens when Baldy gets mad. If we got the question right, we wouldn't be able to progress through the game at all. Now why he turns into a raging and abusive teacher from the 60s, I have no idea. With a teacher like that, a million dollars wouldn't be enough to get stuck in a place like this. What about a billion dollars? No amount of money would make me bust it down oiled up around this place. A trillion? Sign me up. Are you seriously that much of a cliche to irony? Obama, hear me out. Do you know the power of what a trillion dollars can do? That's like a lot of money. I figured that much. Our governmental debt is at an all time high with those numbers. Yeah, wonder whose fault that is. More irony aside, I could figuratively and literally purchase half the declared nations on the world map. If you could purchase any nation with only a trillion dollars, how bad is their economical system? Horrible. Probably worse than the south side of Cleveland. Housewives would be on the street with a milker out for crack cocaine, much less a grocery tab. Quite the visual. Quite so. Also, I'm hearing this vacuum noise to the side. What's that about? Look at how far back Baldy is. You're making progress, Obama. As for the noise, you'll probably run into it coming here in a few. Or whatever it is. Oh, are you serious? Talk about a gang attack. Who's in the wheelchair? Yeah, what is that thing? Was it the noise I heard earlier? Whatever it is, it's coming right for us. No, look, I can slip right by it. I didn't know if we could die by touching it, but I guess not. If we can keep putting the moves on him, we'll be out of here in no time. What is this? 
uh, be soda. What are we going to do with this? Chuck the can at Baldy? Unironically, yes. That's what you do with it. It'll push him back. Oh. That's actually really handy. Can't wait to use it. Can't wait to abuse the teacher. Now, Donald, whichever country or land plot that you choose to purchase would be branded with a Trump logo. And it will be called Trumpopoulos, right? No, that's too tacky. That's too tacky, but the Trump family bet is just fine and dandy, huh? Hold on, Joe. Let's hear the man out. I'm kind of curious now. I need my country to be cutthroat. With the love I have for this great nation, I would need it to be the best of the best, the very best. No country would be greater than this one, and it would need a terrific name to be the cherry on top. Trumptopia? Trumponda? Edit a drum roll for me, Joe. Editing Joe, can you put in a drum roll? I regret saying this because I spent all night editing, and now Zelensky wants 20 billion on our payroll. Tough luck. New Pence. New Pence? Where's old Pence? Struggling to put gas in his truck, but this isn't about him. It really is if you're naming your whole country after him. I'm still lost on the fact it's not anything Trump related. In Old English, the name originated from a pen to hold stray animals. I no less would be doing the same to these citizens of this new country. And where else to put these stray animals but to work at Trump Metropolis? There's so much wrong with that. I need a CinemaSins video to break it down. At least something got named Trump. It would be weird to have branding not related to it. Of course, like a calling card, I think that's a law of the universe. Donald has to officiate. What the? What the? Before you ask, yes, that was a giant broom. Didn't plan on asking at all. But yeah, Donald has to label everything personally. How else will people know I own it? A Social good media. indication would be the living conditions. Trade me out my country for downtown San Francisco and tell me there would be a difference. On second thought, I stand corrected. What the? Oh, not this again. Quick, Brock, use the soda. Take this, you walking pencil. Now you just gotta finish the jump rope. Okay, and the soda pushed him back. So now we have Baldy. What the? Oh, brother. What's going on? Uh, Brock? I'm still here. I'm just pondering. Uh, just pondering. What actually just happened? So much occurred in the blink of an eye, I feel like I just missed a firework. That was gotta sweep. He'll be rushing around the halls, sweeping anybody and everybody that's in his way. Well, great. I just got swept away into the back rooms. Now what? You know what? Pass it on to me. It's been a while since I've been around the classroom. Make sure you go to English class first. I'll tell you what, this plastic spoon has a knack of horrible practices. Well, yeah, he put a hammer to our heads like we were cinder blocks. I guess he takes care of his school as much as possible. Something tells me he's behind the bar. His school looks like something a fiber artist would spit out at me. That's how behind the bar it is. I mean, you're not technically wrong. And then, yeah, if we're talking about behind the bar, look no further than that Quebble Cup creature. Somehow he's using robots to make his voice completely automatic. How lazy do you have to be? That just goes to show how behind we are with the times. Anything for a quick buck, I guess. Quebble Cop doesn't know the first thing about audience pandering. He's so lost in his mind that he's convinced himself not to listen to anybody. He's not Isaac Newton, he's just brain dead. Is his quality any good? It's like water coming out of a speaker. I think people enjoy the sound of a tornado siren more than his voice. I don't know why, but I have the slight hint that there's irony surrounding all of this. It's terrible what he's doing, truly terrible. He's basically trying to pump so much artificial intelligence into pop culture that it outright dethrones humans. Like, imagine someone making AI of us. How would that make you feel? Something tells me the only AI you've been paying attention to is Quibble Cop. What does that even mean? There's already AI of us. Are you serious? Someone has already cloned me? No, thankfully, one of you is a handful enough. No, they just took our voices and slapped it over gameplay. You're absolutely lying, right? Yeah. How does someone even get our voices like that? Are we just going to ignore what just happened on screen? Joe just got hit with a tsunami wave. It happens. Also, they ripped it from interviews, I believe. Most of them sound horrible, though. And he just caught me running. Great. 15 seconds. We got thrown into detention? For what? We were caught running in the halls. There's certain things you can't do around here, just like how a normal school is. Speaking of that AI, uh, uh, I think it relies on a default speaker and then just dubs the voiceover. Um, you can tell it's not real, however, because the audience can be heard from the background. That and the mic quality, subpar at best. A karaoke mic has better quality. And you're telling me there's how many of these channels? Oh, definitely hundreds. We're a popular topic, after all. What kind of scoundrel would just sit in their room all day and make videos 
over people that don't even know he exists. Why are you guys quiet? Irony by tenfold, Donald. Ah, shucks, this isn't good. We're in detention again. Not for long. Baldy's right here. Yep, it was good while it lasted. You were really close there. You only had a notebook left, right? Something like that. In all honesty, I wasn't really counting. I was just doing. Well, no need to fear. The world's best security guard is here. I'll show this crooked utensil a thing or two about math. Cafeteria is down the hall and to the left, Don. When you think about it, the schoolyard is almost proof why we need to push for mental rehabilitation. I guess the world is just full of crazies now. Never know what you're going to see on the news. Yeah, it's like that weirdo that bathes in tar. Who are you even talking about? That Doja Cat lady. Oh yeah, Doja Cat, uh, I haven't listened to her since she went down in her Marilyn Manson phase. She looks like the devil from Cuphead, not the devil of this world. Her hair reminds me of what yours used to look like, Obama. Even I wouldn't insult Obama like that. I mean, look at her. A German shepherd would probably mistake her for a giant tennis ball. She could probably use the teeth marks for makeup. Better than what she's mistaken for now. I'm sorry, I just can't get over what Joe said. My hair looks nothing like hers. I'm not saying the color, but the overall style. What, the style of Bowser's minions? It would be very funny if Doja Cat was watching this video right now. I would personally find it hysterical after she would send her army of mentally ill teenagers after us. An interesting headline, to say the least. Wouldn't be the first time that a celebrity motivated themselves to affiliate with politics. Just name drop Kanye at that point. I just thought of the worst question known to man. You know, when Joe says that, it's gonna get vicious. The pretense to this conversation is what concerns me. Well, let's hear it, Joe. Would you rather have a Kanye West fan son or a Doja Cat stan daughter? Death is the only valid option. Yeah, you might as well run back to Baldy at that point. Just let the ruler slide down your esophagus. Attack some baby geese or something, that's practically death by a firing squad. Yeah, let me get mauled by dry syrup blocks from our Canadian neighbors. Our Canadian neighbors wouldn't go to that extreme. Obama, did you see what happened in Canada? Those lifeless mannequins stood up and applauded for a literal war criminal, all of them. How can so many people be that uneducated? Listen, I'm not against you on that, I agree. It was very disgusting of them. They could at least do the slightest bit of research before commending someone like that. They could have commended him with a bullet. You won't see that over there though. Set foot in my great nation and you just see what happens. Every Walmart worker and Sunday night football enthusiast would use his head like a battering ram. Yeah, Which is why I loop back to Canada being a steaming pile of moose piss. It might as well be annexed and cast off into the ocean. Oh, I remember that Bugs Bunny cartoon where he sawed off Florida. If only we could do that in real life, too. Get out of here, stupid robot kid. Tell you what, Obama, I'll trade Florida for Canada. Deal. Wait, I don't think that's how land masses work. Get off me, Baldy. And it works if I say it does. Wait, Don, you only have one more notebook to get? I've rolled around this place with ease, and there's the last one. There's no way that you're actually about to beat this game, right? That's what you get for doubting the world's best security guard. The very best. You still gotta get out. Where do I go? Go down the hallway and through that yellow door. Just trust me. What the? We're right here at the exit. We're home free. What? It was a fake? But how? Don, just get out of there. He's right behind you. The exit was blocked off. Where do I even go? Who knows, but he's right there. Why? Why is it getting redder? He's right behind you. I'm out of stamina. You know what? I count that as a win. <laughs> PBS kids are really up in their quality lately, huh? Gentlemen, welcome to my friendly neighborhood. This is a horror game that just came out yesterday, and we're playing it. From the appearance of things, it seems we'll be playing with the cast of Sesame Street. Or Jim Henson, depending if we live through this or not. Too far, Don, too far. Okay, last job of the day. What's this one about? Why do we sound like a 1920s detective? Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over top normal programming. The client has requested that the broadcast array on top of the central hotel be disabled to prevent further incidents. So as per usual, we're cleaning up someone else's mess. Look at the bottom there, Donald. 
Note, Crewman O'Brien is on probation for sullen and impolite behavior towards clients. Failure to satisfactorily complete this work order will result in termination. Yeah, that sounds just like you, Donald. Well, the world's best repairman is here to get the job done. Now, how do I move around? That's always something you want to hear. I'm the best, but I don't know how to move. That's what you sound like. Press escape, Don. Well, no help to you, Nincom Poops. My elite problem-solving skills have gotten us out of this mess. Uh, Joe quite literally told you what to press. Disable antenna? The last job of the day is always the worst. Damn, this TV station is built like the Wayne Tower. Yeah, seems like there's an awful lot to this place. No kidding if there's a whole aviary for this place. It seems like we might be here for a while, but we should probably start with the big building in front of us. This just screams Los Angeles. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw some stars on Hollywood Boulevard. Got a door animation. There's an elevator. Maybe it still works. Nice place we have here. Reminds me of one of my hotel entrances. That's why I felt uncomfortable entering here. Oh, I see where we are. Something tells me that this is going to be a long game. You are right about the decor part, Donald. The hell is this? Well, I didn't know that would happen, but I guess we have a medallion now. These games typically have puzzles to them. We'll most likely need that later. Do I put it in here or something? That thing was as big as a horse testicle. I doubt you can just slot that in a coin grabber. Probably something we'll get later if my judgment is correct. Ring me. Okay. Should I be doing this, Joe? Why are you asking me? You're the one playing the game. Oh, what the hell sort of musical box did I just open? I look away for one second and this happens. Donald did something he wasn't supposed to. I had no choice. Raise the curtain. The hell? Did Bring someone forget to throw lights. out a cum sock? The neighborhood is coming to town. Uh, hello. And he just I'm treats the situation like normal. The Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood. The neighborhood. I want to strangle this okay. thing. Leave your aggression for the actual I'm game. I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We, hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? Shut the hell up, yes. Ricky. I'm here to do oh a job. Oh my, no, 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 no. You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, yeah, trust Yeah, we're gonna me, die here. Glad you're being optimistic. Doesn't need any disconnecting. Tell you what, you wait here and I'll... And I'll, uh... I'll, 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 I'll is he giving some... birth or something? <coughs> the hell is going on? Oh. Oh, you! Yeah. Looks like he threw up some sort of card. Well, that wasn't pleasant. I'm gonna take a sec. The hell was that? Um... Okay, then. Seems like you and Gordon have similar reactions. Not really. Gordon pretty much laughed in the face of delusion. I'm questioning why the hell a talking sock puppet has a dissolvable stomach. Uh, I'm questioning why the hell there's a talking sock puppet to begin with. That was... special. Gordon is probably getting paid $20 an hour to deal with Muppet mutants. I would just quit on the spot. It's probably like FNAF logic again. What on earth? Is this... Glue? Either that or Bonnie was looking at the hub for too long. You could say this puts us in a sticky situation. Why, because Grimace blasted his nut on the elevator? No, it was a... Uh... Wait, excuse me? Where are our legs? I guess Gordon's just a jumping jelly bean. That's common in smaller games. Are these some of the foes that we'll be dealing with? Norman. Looks like something could be placed here. Like a mask or something? Speaking of masks... Donald, can I ask why you put on an orange face? What a time to ask. Have you really run out of insults to hurl at me? Rich coming from you. Way e. Oh, why does she look like Squidward's house? Okay, that one was pretty funny. I wasn't even trying to be funny, though. She's got the looks of a Moai statue. We're getting off topic here. Is it like some aristocratic makeup brand that I've never heard of? Or spray paint? Maybe some weird brand of sunscreen. Why not all three? I'll dismiss those insults once I figure out where the hell to go. Everything is locked right now. Have you checked the elevator again? I did so the first time. It wouldn't open up. We can still go outside. Maybe that's the best move. Could be another area that got unlocked after coming in here. That was going to be my next suggestion. It looks like I'm left with no other choice. Let me take one last look at these statues. Is this a Soviet soldier? Huh. Who the hell? Hey, who's that? 
looks like we found out what we need to do. Something that I forgot to mention is that the most I know about this game is the demo I played. Aside from that, I'm going in pretty much blind. Oh, great. We don't have Joe's lovable bosom to rely on. So, is this like a warehouse facility that we'll be roaming around? Like I said, Don, I'm going in pretty much at the same level you guys are. Your guess is just as good as mine. Well, that key card seemed to work. Guess it's time that we truly dive into the game. Hmm. I don't know what I was expecting, but this wasn't it. It reminds me of a crack house. I was more thinking that it gave off the atmosphere of a dimly lit parking garage, but I, I guess you could say that too. How dimly lit can it be? It's like Friday night lights. What's this? The City Tribune, Saturday, November 9th, 1968. This studio is gonna reek if it has mildew in it. This week saw the premiere of a new series on the City Network aimed at preschool aged children, my friendly neighborhood. The show centers on the titular friendly neighborhood and its resident puppets who, with the help of adults like Stevie, Richie Bromine, teach viewers about a variety of subjects, including numbers, letters, and how to be a friendly neighbor. The show's catch-all term for age-old lessons about caring and sharing. So this is just the great value edition of Sesame Street. Uh, something interesting to note is that it hinted that Ricky used to be the main character of the show. Real quick, Joe, is this game something where I have to search the rooms top to bottom? The demo was pretty much like that. I would recommend you do the same. Got it. Looks like the Easter scavenger hunt came early this year. The health at the bottom slightly concerns me, but I'm not going to obsess with it for now. Yeah, I at least know how that works in the game. As long as you know the basics, that... Gordon, are you stupid? Why would you ever call out like that? What's exactly going on? Sometimes I get some lines to recite too. Let me show you. What the actual hell am I looking at? This reminds me from that thing in dead space. The what now? Never mind. Well, I'm just going to avoid a catastrophe and slowly sneak around, and he'll never notice. How does his back bend like that? I'm not here to ask questions. I'm here to fix an antenna. Fair enough. Another one? What the heck is going on here? I will say that Gordon is quite calm considering the situation that he's in. I'm used to the, oh, we gotta jump down? No getting out of this one, it seems. What happened to him? He's sitting on his nutsack in the twerking formation. What's this, a, a token? That's probably gonna have some use to it. That's what I'm thinking. What the hell is she talking about? You have to think we're not playing with demented Muppets for no reason. I think it was something about dismembering people. And now we have no other option but to press forward and fight that thing. What, are we gonna take it to Pound Town? Wait, peer around the corner. Okay, but why? That, that's a stoplight. I'm thinking that we can go when it's green, but she'll turn around when it's red. Good observation, Barack. I was thinking the same thing. All right, is that when I go? Yeah, yeah, go now. Oh, gross, she has a hunchback. Did she spot us? I don't think. What the hell is wrong with you? I feel like we knew what we were getting ourselves into with this one. Kids' personalities and drug addicts can just be alternated if you really think about it. That's not something I really want to think about. She's not even looking at a mirror. She's just straight talking to herself. These Muppets must be meth heads. I'd prefer being around meth heads more than whatever that was. No, you don't. Whatever the case may be, we might as well get going. There's probably more of this up ahead anyways. I wish you weren't right. Oh, by the way, you never answered why you put on that utter amalgamation of tie-dye and food coloring. What do you mean? He's asking about your orange face again, Donald. Are we still on that? Okay, I know that sounded really accusatory, but is, uh, the motive was for genuine curiosity. Is it like some fancy makeup brand that I've never heard of? Wait, can I pick up the vase too? Cool, I can. Anyways, what were you saying? Face, orange, funny looking. My beautiful complexion isn't the brainchild for some L'Oreal experiment. This bronze foundation is the secret trap card for first impressions. Is that bottle a healing potion? That's my guess, which is good. I'm curious about the logic to this little stunt you've created. That's too much to read. Anyways, gather around the campfire and I'll spill the beans. Do tell on this one. Let me begin by asking you simpletons this. Have you ever heard of color theory? Yeah, who hasn't? Wait, that door open. Get on with it already. Well, maybe if this game didn't have a lot going on, I could. We haven't even done anything. I can inspect the toilet. There's tape in the toilet. Tape? Yeah, that was tape, right? Looks like tape to me. Yeah, it is tape. Interesting. I wonder what we could be using that for in this theme park of a studio. 
My only guess is that we can get kinky with one of the Muppets. Why of all things is that your only guess? Uh, it's not even worth questioning. Um, what? Are you seeing this, Joe? This thing is doing a single person wave. Really has his hands in the air like he just don't care. Are you sure we're not... Something about his voice doesn't sit right with me. Sounds like Herbert from Family Guy is choking on a cough drop. Whoever voiced that thing must have a talent of pissing people off. Two peas in a pod, eh, Don? And just like that, I want to sock your dentures to the roof of your mouth. Probably the only bit of mouth action you've gotten in a while. Obama, don't do this to yourself. You're practically married to Oprah Winfrey. There's no point in really even coming at my throat. We're going to need that wrench. Can we club Donald over the head with it? Give him a bump the size of a kangaroo pouch? Actually, we can use this to fight. All I need is a baby soft spot to ash a cigar in, and it's like I'm living in the 60s again. We should test out our new toy on this thing upstairs. Little did you know, Joe, that was already my plan. Putrid minds think alike. On guard, you cuck-sucking teddy bear. Oh, my gosh! Damn, he just tossed you like a rag doll. Take this, and this, and this! Looks like you're struggling. Is this thing pumping pounds of steroids? He's not going down! As soon as you... <sighs> Why did he tumble down the stairs like that? <laughs> he rolled like a bowling ball. And there's the tape. I just found my new favorite thing ever. You're really having fun, aren't you? The smile on his face should tell you that. Well, it can't be all fun and games. We got a job here to do. The overall goal is to change this damn antenna. Oh boy, another one. You got more fight in that wrench, Don. I want to check in here first before I really do anything. Heal and save. Is this a checkpoint place? That is great. If this is going to be a long game, we're going to need one. That desk is a storage system, too. It'll allow you to manage items efficiently without needing to discard them. So I'm noticing that. The problem is that we have to memorize all of this. What does that mean? Like the map layout? Remember, we do have our own map. I don't know if it's properly marked, but it should be easy to get back to. I'm liking the jazz music. And just like that, we're fully patched up. Notice how it says on that ticket that we just used a token. That was the token that you picked up from earlier. It's important to know that because we, we only have limited saves and health boosts. Well, that's good to note. I'm ready to get back out there and start letting this thing fly. Are you enjoying the fact that you can beat children's toys to a bloody pulp in this game? What tipped you off? The Muppet that you left in a coma on the stairs. Come here, you overgrown sharpened pencil. Let me show you how it's done. He looks like one of those inflatable balloons at car dealerships. Like in the wind. He's atoning for his mis- How the hell did he even grab me? I was beating his skull into the ground. Watch out for your health, Don. We don't want you to die just yet. Yeah, at least save the game first before you get yanked down to the fiery depths of hell. Am I fighting Hulk? Why is he so strong? Well, even Hulk has a weakness, it seems. It really poops on my parade that I, I not only have to use a healing potion, but I don't have any more duct tape. I can't come back to the punching bag and let a few smacks out onto his pretty little face. What? And you said, I am the creeper. It's a phrase, Joe. Calm down. What the hell is John Legend doing in this game? Something tells me that you're not the biggest fan of John Legend. From what I've seen in the press, the feeling's mutual. And we jump straight into the flabby folds of a cutscene. Are we going to worship the John Legend shrine? Oh, that's a gun. Now we're talking. There you are. And so is he. Now Why are you back? Off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. By the way, what's your name? Can I strangle him already? What? Not yet. Your name, your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. It's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name. I could say it all day. Gordon. I see why you Gordon. want to punch this thing, Don. Gordon. Is this a gun? Strangle, but close enough. Work? Oh my, that's where I left that. I'm... You're not taking this away, you splooge sock! Cool, we can keep it. Fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that crushes people. What? Don't get on her bad side is all I <laughs> What was that? And he just slithers away. Uh, okay. what now? Grab this. the mags because we're loading up for a shootout. Give them hell, Donald. They sure ain't getting to heaven. Let's do this. 
Well, this is a bit anticlimactic. I was thinking a wave of them. This isn't even a puddle. How do you like the gun, Donald? It handles like a Nerf gun. Why the hell does it not do any damage? Seemed like it was working for you. So is this like a typewriter gun or something? We're about to sign their autopsy with this thing? I think the explanation is right here, actually. I finally got it working. Um, it's a real beaut. Um, I think I'll call it the stenographer, uh, because it shoots letters out of an index. Shouldn't be dangerous at all, but um, it'll really give someone a clunk if they get hit in the head. Should be useful um, for security, special effects, fun, etc. Hank. Well, isn't that nice? Hank left us a little parting gift. I want to highlight the fact that it recommended aiming for the head. It should be obvious, but hitting someone in the head will do more damage. Well, I'm sure John Legend will thank us for leaving his room a bloody mess with two corpses on the staircase. What do we have to do now? It feels like we pretty much did everything. Well, if you remember, there was a bullseye back where we originally got the wrench. Now that we have a gun, I bet we can shoot it and it'll trigger something. What's this shape all about? You know, I'm highly impressed you managed to remember all of that. I suppose it comes with the territory. Well, let me ask this. Do you remember what you had for breakfast this morning, Joe? Not a damn thing. I could have eaten eggs, Benedict, or a leather boot. Hell of a selective memory if I've ever seen one. I could give you a 10-page synopsis on the Slender Man series. My parents' names? Yeah, forget about it. People actually want to re-vote for you is the craziest part about all that. So what are we doing again? You need to use the new typewriter gun and shoot the bullseye that's in front of you. Did I do it? I think you did. I don't know what it did, though. Oh, wait, it unlocked this thing. A blue circle key? Ah, uh, I think I know what that's for. Donald, head to the hallway where we originally found Norman. Sounds like a plan. Just give me one second here. All right, I'm ready. You have serious issues, Donald. Blue circled key for blue circled doors. That makes sense. I'm just happy we're unlocking a new area. Whoa! This must be one of the old sets. The studio is huge. Buddhist temples be damned. Quite the room we got ahead of us. Looks like there's a whole town stored up in these buildings. That's probably why it's called My Friendly Neighborhood. And they just had a whole parade here every single episode. I'm surprised the whole set just didn't collapse. These puppets seem life-size, so these buildings most likely have real structural support. It sounds like a psych ward in here. Not that I'm saying we don't belong, but still. What the hell do I even do here? Like, where am I supposed to go where I won't get attacked by a vicious mob? I think I saw a staircase going up one of the buildings. You could try to see if that'll lead you anywhere. I see it. I'm just trying to be cautious. I'm, I don't want any of these little creatures from the crypt to crawl behind me and snap my neck. So is now a good time to continue explaining about your orange face? Are you really still on this? It's the curiosity, Donald. It's just eating at me. Well, as you mentioned, Obama, colors are associated with symbolism that we form in our minds. Now, can we take a guess at what orange is associated with? Stupidity? No. Well. Nope. Stupidity? You already said that. Excitement? Close, Obama. My money is still on stupidity. I'm really not trying to add elder abuse to my charge list, but it is tempting right now. Don, you might as well tell us. I'm tired of guessing. Well, hold on to that thought. I'm figuring out how I'm going to rip this thing's head off. It's always easy to use the gun, but I would conserve as much ammo as possible. Yeah, that's the plan. I might just have to beat this thing off the woodside. Why is he laughing like the headless horseman? I have no idea, but he can take a punch like a headless horseman. I feel like I'm swinging home runs and he's just eating this for breakfast. Damn, I was not expecting him to be that strong. I guess this neighborhood isn't monitored by police if they're this methed out. That's quite a bird. What the hell is he talking about? Damn! Oh, what the hell? I thought the dodo went extinct, but that is one giant bird. A single drumstick off that thing would solve world hunger. My guess is that we probably want to avoid that thing. Well, back to what I was saying, the color orange is associated with optimism. Confidence, you may say. I pretty much said that. Stupidity works too. I could still hear that infernal bird just prowling about. That's okay, I just happen to be in the mood for some chicken. I hate to burst your bubble, Don, but I don't think that bird is a chicken. Not only that, didn't Ricky say that Pearl crushes people? Well, she's no match for a George Foreman. I also got more duct tape in this letter block, whatever this goes to. Most likely we have some more puzzle solving ahead. Great, let me guess. Do I shove this wrench up my ass and use it like a pogo stick? Man, I knew the set was massive, but it is just like a miniature city inside here. Barack, it is nothing short of a miracle how you just seemingly ignored whatever the hell Don just spewed out. Yeah. My ears have, like, a built-in filter for that sort of garbage. 
I guess I was blessed at birth. Well, listen to this. The color orange is set to make people think of confident and agreeable thoughts. Thus, when people see me, I want them to be able to perceive a confident and agreeable man. It's simple appeal in the world of business. There's a reason why I'm a billionaire. Whatever you say. Also, I just kind of started paying attention to what's happening right now. This actually looks like a normal day in Manhattan. Crackheads busting down in the middle of the street and some damn rodents wandering around them. Hey, Don. What is it, Obama? I just looked up the psychology behind orange, and while it does say those things, it also says it tends to rain the feeling of pride and arrogance. Okay, that makes way more sense. Whatever, I'll just collect this mag and who the hell is having a mental breakdown? We're not in grade school, shut the hell up. I don't think they listened. And we got another letter here. Again, I have no idea what this is for. Maybe we're just collecting the title to our death certificate. Might as well finalize it with these temperamental toys. Uh, is he even doing anything? It looks like that they're trying to run, but maybe the game's just bugged. Are they moonwalking, or are they trying to hit the gritty? I'm being completely honest, I can't tell. Right, and with that, I think it's time to take my leave from the area. I'm really not trying to fight. Are you serious? No handle? Damn, they completely pulled a fast one on you. You're telling me. Now I have to empty the entire staple rack on this little miscreant. Bloody hell, it didn't even do anything. I'm pissed. Yeah, there must have been an invisible barrier or something on the other side of that window. Whatever the case is, the game is really not liking you at the moment. They're even blocking my knobs from getting anywhere past this gate. I don't know what's back there, but I'll need to. Can you shut the hell up? It's like you have two settings, loud and extra loud. Wait, Don, I think that's a lever. Yeah, I just saw it. And just like that, open sesame. So why do we need to get that open? Really don't know. My best guess is that there might be a letter that's behind the counter. I forgot that we still haven't explored this place over here. There's a lot to look through, it seems. A pizzeria? Hmm, interesting. Is this what obesity looks like on a clock? This seems like a whole other ordeal on its own. I have a hunch that the rest of this area will be solely dedicated with trying to find the letters. I have a hunch that my entire foot is lodging itself in the firm mouth of Ricky, the gaping hole of a sock. Oh yeah, this opened up. Well, we did not get a letter, but we got a key. I think that'll prove to be more handy anyways. That's near the top of the set, if I remember correctly. It'll be tempting not to jump off. Couldn't be worse than getting plowed by Big Bird over there. No, you just can't do that, Don. Last time I checked, we lived in America. This has got to be the happiest person that listens to Drake. My guess was going to be Yeet, but I suppose Drake works too. Gordon, this damn thing is moving. Cut its head off or something. Make sure it's dead. We don't want another poppy playtime incident. If Chuckle Nuts happens to wake up, I'm plowing him into the wall and switching to Resident Evil. I think we're good. Just take the letter and get out of here. Hold on, let me just take some extra precautionary measures. Ah! That scare you a bit, Don? Die! 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 I think that just about answers our questions. All this use of food really has me hungry, but before we continue with the small talk, gentlemen, I do have a really important question to ask. Oh, is everything good, Joe? Yeah, everything is fine. We're just here to ask the age-old question. And that is? Does pineapple belong on pizza? <laughs> now, off the bat, I just want to say that I absolutely think it should be on pizza. That honestly might be the worst thing I've ever heard you say. I presume you think otherwise, Barack. Absolutely. Pineapple on pizza is just wrong. I'm from Hawaii. Um, if you go around to any native resident there and say that, they would probably want to hurl you into a volcano. I have no idea where to look for these other letters. Aside from that, the problem there would be considering eating pineapple in the first place. What does that mean? I say this without understatement. Pineapple might possibly be the worst food as we know it. What? How? I wouldn't go as far as to say that. I just don't believe it should be on pizza. Listen to me, the both of you understand that pineapple is quite possibly the fruit of Satan himself. It tastes terrible. It looks like a porcupine birthed it, and it can be used as a weapon. I have a serious fear of getting killed by someone hucking one at me. The fear of dying to one is a more rational take than whatever you said about pineapple tasting terrible. Did you eat it from behind a Walmart dumpster? It's been quite some time, but I remember some friends of mine eating some in a can. When I gave it another try, I was revolted. There's your problem, you absolute imbecile. 
When have you ever tasted anything good from a can? Listen, I don't know about you, but Chef Boyardee can hit the spot. I refuse to believe this is a real conversation happening before my very eyes. I have to agree with him somewhat, Joe. Chef Boyardee can hit the spot sometimes. What? You too? The tomato sauce tastes like period blood. What Chef Boyardee are you having? The one that the Jamaican guy sells in the corner of Costco. What? Joe, those cans are sold in national stores. I doubt someone was selling Chef Boyardee in the back of a Costco. Oh. Yeah, you might want to get yourself checked out. Oh, is this where the letters go? Seems like it. And we almost have the whole damn alphabet at our disposal. Now that I'm looking at it, we might have to guess what the word is on this one. What do you mean? Since we have an array of letters, they'll most likely be used to spell out a certain phrase. Oh, well, here's the last letter. It only took the golden years of my life to find this little thing. I'm embarrassed with how long this is taking. It doesn't help that Donald went back to the parking lot on two separate occasions. Shut the hell up. Stop trying to steer the vehicle when you're sitting in the back seat. Why the hell am I struggling with this? It's neighbor. The damn name of the game. What did you just get? I have no idea. Let me get into a safe space so I don't get ambushed by Kermit or something. A letter. I believe there was a mailbox outside of that one building. Good eye, Barack. That's most likely where it has to go. It's finally done. My back hurts like hell right now. A crank? This unlocks a different part of the studio. There's more? These games typically have no end in sight, Don. I thought you knew this. I'm saving and I'm giving it to you, Obama. If I see any more of that bird, I'm going to be sick. Don't get too turned on. So we have a crank now, but we've pretty much explored every nook and cranny this place has to offer. Do you have any ideas where I can take this, Don? Remember that one place outside with all the neon lights? As if Harrison Ford had a surrogate and named it the 80s? The one place we couldn't enter, Brock, outside near our utility van. Oh, th that place, yeah. I remember now, Donald thought we teleported to Japan. I just don't like having a seizure looking at neon lights. Nothing wrong with preserving my health. Well, and don't make a damn fast food joke. How much of a joke can I make when you have a red lobster biscuit in your hand? Oh, what? Now you print your meat sack all over red lobster now? Their biscuits are the best, the very best. How many did you order? OK, now you can make a joke. Well, you think they could make it a bit less obvious. Who the hell set this up anyways? Oscar the Grouch? This is flooded with Sesame Street branding. Secret entrance, huh? We'll just see about that. There we go. That's not good. Maybe you shouldn't have stood over the damn cover, Gordon. At least we're alive. Gordon is awfully calm about this entire thing. Oh, is this a sewer? Someone call the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I'm about to shred this cum sock alive. Shut up, Don. We have another cutscene. Oh, it's you. Oh, oh, my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, having a clue. Never come down here myself. Uh, hey, what's got your overalls in a knot? Interesting. I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? What's so interesting about the roof? I have to fix the antenna, Threadhead. Shut up, Don. Extremely musty. Unrelated. How do you feel about Blood Force Head Trauma? Oh, I remember this, this part. Time? Well, Ray, of course. Who the hell is Ray? He's explaining that. Just shut the hell up. But he's a little obsessed with uh, organic maintenance. Tends to pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Great. All of you puppets crazy? Well, They're sentient puppets. You think they have a moral compass? The shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The how else would we get out? Rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go. Wash my hair. Can we kill this thing yet? Let me swing the wrench like a baboon. Well, boy, howdy, it didn't do anything. We got some magazines, though. That's always good. So let's check out this place really quick. Let me see if there's anything I can rummage through. Possibly get some more supplies. You'll do that by destroying a cardboard cutout? I would have done it just because I hate that Squidward-looking thing. I think this is another newspaper. 
about a war this time. Nothing screams the 70s more than pointless wars. After 20 years of fighting, the city government has finally declared a complete withdrawal of troops from the northern continent. This article dates back to 1972. I wonder if this is referencing the Vietnam War. What city government is having a war for 20 years? What, the war on stolen bicycles? Called the War of Horrors, the conflict, which mainly involved guerrilla confrontations in the rainforest, resulted in almost 100,000 casualties. Man, those bicycles can sure put up a fight. Hardy har har, real side splitter. Uh, unlike previous homecomings, veterans returning to the city's main docks were booed and hissed, reflecting the negative attitude of many adults towards those who volunteered to serve in the war, hoping to protect their home, but in the eyes of the public, helping to perpetrate those horrors. Lousy, do-nothing Democrats. Our men go and fight for our country, and this is what you treat them with? Next time we get invaded, I'm pushing them out to fight. This is a fake scenario, Don. The Northern War has also been called the first war fought in the living room due to the televised newsreels that kept civilians at home up to date with events overseas. Sounds like the spitting image of Vietnam. If this is overseas, why the hell does the city government have any say? Don, we are getting attacked by the entire Muppet Show. Stop pretending that we need to have a congruent reality. Well, there's that. I'm still lost on how the hell this place was approved for operations if we had a New York subway system down here. They'll most likely reveal the story bit by bit. I don't like this darkness. Beat it with your wrench. Well, that was effective. You scared that dark shadow to hell and back, though. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't miss anything. And uh, ammo is important, considering how much the puppets can just tank it. By the way, after this segment that we're playing now, I have zero clue what's going to happen. Think of it as a teaser to the game versus the actual thing. All of this from here on out is complete blindness. Great, and they're down here too. They'll be everywhere from here on out. Joe, you need to find games that don't deal with kids' toys. If I play another damn game with a stuffed animal chasing us, I might just sue Mattel for existing. Funny enough, I was going to suggest that you guys choose the next game after this. I'm all game. I have just the thing, too. It'll scare Joe stiff as a dead bug. Realistically, I've probably already played it. Did you actually do anything as the VP? Yeah, I played horror games. Wait, is that a shotgun? Hell yeah, it is. Finally, we're talking my kind of lingo. The novelist is what it's called. That's what the shells were from earlier. They were alluding to another weapon. Joe, I cannot tell you how excited I am to plow through these puppets like a cornfield. Huh, another letter. I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had the time to work out the kinks on my latest project. The output is pretty flashy, but it uses up a lot of letters, so I'll need to conserve ammo. Hank. Hank is great. Hank was in the know. He knew about the issues coming around, very well knew, and he set us up for a victory lap. He knew the world's best security guard was going to get assaulted by a bear in the big blue house. I'm just happy we have some serious firepower to our name now. And that door is locked. Well, as Gordon says, uh, let's get writing. Thankfully, these puppets aren't as smart as FNAF characters. Yeah, but there's multiple. Is she throwing up some damn gang signs? I'm just wondering what her chiropractor bill looks like. Of course, the door's locked. Don't cause a scene. The wrench is only so good, and we're trying to conserve ammo. I ticked her off anyways. Did the other guy get triggered? No. Ah! They run faster than you think they can. Now I'm just shotgunning her out of spite. Cool, it one shots too. Yeah, but we have no ammo for it. I forgot we had inventory. Let me see if we have enough space. Oh, we have duct tape. Are you also doing this out of spite? Yep. Uh, I just got my anus breached by a nose the size of Stonehenge. Life really can humble you in the worst ways. This is a fat rat I'm looking at here. How big is this place? There is no way in bloody hell that we have another giant cornucopia to explore. I'm not sure if we needed another poppy playtime experience. I think I sound like a broken record asking this again, but why is there such a theme with public spaces and underground labyrinths? And I keep telling you that it's such a specific question that I have zero real knowledge about it especially since the game just came out. This is the only thing you're good at. What else are you gonna do, properly run the country? It's not. Don't answer that because you... Uh, that has nothing to do with us. Let's just get going. That took me by surprise. I don't remember that being in the demo. So is there anything that we should expect from this game? Possibly any insider knowledge you have? You have to know something of value. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, I'm making sure this thing is not getting up. Well, that's all about I can do. So, no ifs, ands, or buts. We have to enter that facility. That's my... I knew this wasn't just a damn shadow. Just spam click right on the door. <sighs> okay, we're good. So, to help answer your bickering from earlier, Don, what I can say is that this game seems more realistic. It might be in part with the maps, but when you apply the overall size of the area to actual floor plans, you can see how the comparison is more realistic compared to Poppy Playtime. All right, also, we're just going right in? I don't see any heel stations back anywhere else. Also, if I take another hit, I'm royally screwed. And of course, we only have more of them to deal with. I wanted to conserve ammo, but I'm not taking any chances right now. Remember, the typewriter magazines are very common to find, so don't be too afraid to start using some. Especially in situations like this, prioritize health over ammo. If we're talking about what else this game nails, I like how it's horror mixed with run and gun. Rarely, if ever, do we have the chance to fight back. For once, I agree with you, Obama. Nothing has been more satisfying than <laughs> blasting these phony puppets down a flight of stairs. What do we have here? Looks like some shapes or something. Uh, looks like it needs power. How do we give it power, Gordon? Going back to the game, it doesn't go overboard with that run and gun effect. You have plenty of ammo, but you still have to use it sparingly and wisely. We might as well just suck the devs off at this point. This is a safe point. Hell yeah, Don, get to sucking. I didn't mean that literally. Remember, no take backs. Now this is what I wanted, a nice change of pace after getting smacked around by poop nose. Consider seeing asthma treatment. You should get more exercise. Great, we're running around with someone the size of a triceratops. What's the plan now? I'm taking these shells for our inventory. And while we're here, I might as well organize it a bit. I wanna throw some theories around. My question is, how did this operation all start? Our character is not really considering how the antenna was set to hijack the other TV stations. I think our character has schizophrenia because he's just treating these things like an average day in Manhattan. Some manifestly mannequins are acquiring the sense of free will and motion causing irreversible consequences. Meanwhile, Gordon takes another hit from the bong and says, stupid puppets. Gordon's a mechanic for a reason. I'm also liking this music. It makes me want to stay in here longer. So what's your theory, Obama? You think Gordon's wreaking havoc on an inside job? I wouldn't necessarily say that, um, but power, especially to this grand of a scale, doesn't just come on under normal circumstances. That throws into question if we're under normal circumstances. I think realism jumped off the bridge when we walked into the realm of alive puppets. It's like we really can't get over the hump of supernatural objects here. I mean, we have a gun that shoots out the alphabet. It's not like we're side by side with the real world. Of course, they're back up. Yeah, you guys just keep doing the wave. You certainly aren't crazy. So what's the objective now? Finding how to turn that machine on? Right. And I believe these are the, the only doors we haven't been through. Um, most likely, we'll have to do some puzzle to throw on a, a power switch or something. I didn't know Johnny Sins was down here doing... Con Who's there? Johnny Sins, that's who. I seriously don't know what to expect going into this, but... Oh, what the hell? Is that a damn anaconda? He kind of reminds me of Gordon, the way he looks so out of shape. So is this the Ray guy that the sock was referring to? I didn't know he'd be a damn swamp monster. You'd think he'd be in a Shrek movie. Well, I really don't know what to do in this situation. Try to find something you can turn on the lights with. I think I just found that now. Damn! Gordon, you outright homunculus. You saw the damn figure before you turned on the lights. How many damn rats are in this place? And why are they all stuffed puppets? It's annoying how we can't curb stomp them. Uh, I think this is to that machine over there. We need uh, some sort of brick and then we pop it into the socket. I think that slab was what that oaf was hammering on. Oh. Boy, do I have just a thing for you. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Obama, shoot the puppet when you get out there. Got it. I'll light him up like a firework festival. And you talk about excessive patriotism from me. Yeah, he's blocking us from getting through. Whoa! What the hell? What the hell just happened? Joe, you pile of rotting flesh. Why the hell would you have me do that? Yeah, sleepy Joe, you crusty old bum. What the hell? Now we have Florida residents chasing us. Relax, you two. I just wanted to show you Stay a cool back. thing they added. Besides, we're in a healthy status. The right corner! Now. Run, Obama. Stop looking back. They're right there. I have to look back to shoot them, you ingot. See, what did I tell you? You're whittling them down just fine.
Joe, I, I, I don't know what itsy bitsy spider crawled up your ass today, but if you do that again, I'm making like Gordon and bashing you with the wrench. Nice rubber duck they put in there. Yeah, what the hell is that doing in there? Can't shoot it. Anyways, that was a dick thing to do, Joe. Oh, come on. It wasn't even that bad. My point was for you to realize that we'll gain all that ammo back in the long run. Besides, I think it's pretty cool with what happened. Yeah, Norman made like Naruto and pulled a shadow clone jutsu. Really breathtaking addition we've discovered. What the, the hell was that? So, you know, what do we do now? Go back to that supercomputer and plug this bad boy in? Wait, do these carnival toys get back up? Oh, they just disappear. Well, Gordon, you're taking this all very well. I think Gordon took more than an espresso shot back in the van. I don't know how many times I've said that now, but I really need to emphasize my point. Yeah, I sincerely doubt Gordon is the secret mastermind behind all of this, if there is one, really. To be honest, it's really too early to tell. There might be foreshadowing in the game that we've missed, uh, possibly some visual cues, but that's not really gonna be apparent up until now. Well, we got this thing plugged in and booting up. So what does this do again? Oh, there's shapes on the bottom. Do we have to be like a baby and fit the square in the square hole or something? No, these are buttons. I'm just trying to figure out how, how the hell you press them. With the damn mouse, how else do you think? There it goes. So what did that do? It didn't look like it did anything. To all personnel, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards into the three terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch cards, this machine can be used to print replacements. I'm not gonna lie, all of that just went in one ear and out the other. Not surprised, Don, not surprised. It means that you have to punch in these shapes to make a combination and put them in the stands behind us. Okay, and I found the lever, so that's what we have to pull to print the combination. It's starting to make sense now. That's right, you got an understanding of it. So I take the punch card and then put it in one of these machines, right? Why do they have clocks on them? Because it's time to get out of here, that's why. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you sit in silence after that one. Really be alone with your thoughts. It wasn't as graphic as his jokes can usually get. Just a tad bit corny. Uh, did that do anything? Everything just reset. Wait, look at the papers. Oh, these are numbers, aren't they? I still don't know what that has to do with shapes. I'll point you back in the right direction, Barack. We left a map back in the safe room. You should go back and pick it up. Oh, how the hell did I miss this? Uh, it was off to the side, so your peripherals probably didn't think twice. Are we exploring Narnia? How the hell is this actually the size of the New York subway system? Apparently there's an east basement here as well. If only I could find a way to get over to the other map. There we go. Now check that one paper near the wall, Barack. Oh, a cheat sheet. So it does correlate directly to numbers. We already established that, Don. So square is plus two, triangle is minus one, and circle is plus six. Uh, I feel like I'm back in elementary school again. I bet Ricky set this all up to confuse us. Let's be real. That cum sock is probably conspiring against us as we speak. All right, I, I believe this panel is three. So we just add these up. And that adds up to three. Yeah, something like that. I'm just glad you're doing this, Barack. Numbers aren't my thing. Neither are letters, apparently. I will say, Ricky seemed pretty enthusiastic that everything was back up and running. That just clicked. Does that mean we did it? Either that or we've set off a time bomb that's going to blow this place up, which wouldn't be half bad either. No, you got it. Now you just have to do that two more times. Got it. Anyways, Ricky has also been trying to stop us from going to do our job. It's also important to note that the original name of the show was Ricky and Friends. Maybe a hidden jealousy that could pose as a possible motive, but that's assuming he's the one behind all of this. If I was a producer's old spank rag that he made into a kid's mascot, I'd be out for blood as well. All right, I, I think this adds up to 10. If not, then I have no idea how I ran a country for eight years. It added up to 10 and I still don't know how you ran a country for eight years. Wait, so is this 10 as well? It does say X, but take a closer look at the clock. Oh, the seven circled. Well, that makes sense. Funny enough, you're right though, Joe, and uh, not only is it uh, too early, way too early, there's too many characters to piece together any continuity at the time being. Maybe it's a FNAF scenario and all these puppets are the souls of old workers. We got that open though. They could also just be pointless puppets. Remember, there isn't one of each. 
we ran into uh, 15 Normans practically. What the hell is this tunnel? Wow. I wonder how deep this goes. This reminds me of the spider holes that Mommy Longlegs burrowed. This must be the connection between the east and west basement. All I know is that these puppets better cool their jets. Otherwise, this kid's show will turn rated R really quick. I should have expected as much from you. Oh, this will be fun. I'm just going to try to sneak around and get to uh, wherever I need to go. After all, these puppets are mini Mike Tysons. Joe, I think you should know what I'm about to ask now. Oh boy, let me prepare first. So correct me if I'm wrong, but these things are human height, right? Yeah, you're right. And, and puppet stuffing isn't that heavy, right? Well, it depends on the type of filling, but for argument's sake, we can say it isn't heavy. It concerns me that you're asking him all this after just making an innuendo. Also, I'm not liking these narrow hallways at all. Nowhere really to run. So with all of that, being established, do you think I could put one of these in a hemlock or something, just outright clean their clocks? Why do you keep putting yourself in scenarios where you're fighting inanimate objects? You had me do that poll about fighting Ricky the other day, and now here you are again. Something tells me it stems from validation. Just answer the damn question. Unlike the other foes we've squared off with, these certain toys aren't really measurable in strength. Even with pillow stuffing coursing through their veins, they're strong enough to throw Gordon down to the ground like a bag of hammers. Goodness gracious, we are actually in poppy playtime again, aren't we? Who is funding these facilities? Tony Stark? Either that or one of the X-Men. How about all of the X-Men? Well, to refer to your earlier statement from the sound of it, Gordon's not the most healthy person in the doctor's clinic. Says Donald, the fitness guru, eating another Red Lobster biscuit. What the hell? Watch what you say about Red Lobster. Even the water pipes aren't happy with your smack talk. Realistically, you possibly could take one in a fight, but it's a numbers game when it comes down to it. If they swarm you like a colony of locusts, something tells me you're not getting out of there alive. Especially if they're out for blood. You tell me if I just get in a bathroom stall and just start funneling them in, I can't power kick at least a few dozen? Don, there's a Family Guy episode where they literally ask this question. I was just thinking about that, except replace the puppets with fourth graders. This seems easier because puppets don't hold any weight. A strong gust would probably take them to the land of Oz. You shot 15 metal bricks at one, and it didn't even phase them. You have better odds of fishing a diamond from a Cracker Jack box. Where the hell did you hear that saying from? All right, how about all three of us? Like a Left for Dead 2 sort of fight? You still have not given us specific battlefronts. With all that babbling, at least we have another safe room. I don't really need to save what's this paper. Great, more bedtime stories. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighborhood, I am frightened by the tone of the morals on that show. Just yesterday, one of the characters said, you should always think of others before yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. But what if someone takes advantage of you for doing that? What if doing what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless with their own well-being? I can just tell she's a single mother. Is there something wrong with that? Well, she's single for a reason. And I think you know what reason I'm referring to. Yeah, because she wants to be protective of her kid. Really strutting your stuff, Don. I think she's going somewhat too far. Like, think about mailing in the editor-in-chief just because you're overthinking about a kid's show. I suppose. Also, this is the third time I've seen that green triangle. I, is there another key we have to find? That's been the overall theme here. I also think that we're going to go back to multiple areas and open up avenues that we couldn't before. I don't really mind as long as they keep giving us the supplies for ammo. They're still generous with that. Wait, is this the other side of that well area? Yeah, I think it loops around at some point. Oh, looky here. I can't clobber her, so I'll just take her out from up here. I think Cheese Block is the most annoying one out of all of them. Like, shut the hell up. Are you going to draw bad blood between you and this puppet now? To be fair, Junebug is the loudest out of all of them. No kidding. Wait, before I go back, there was another area that I could go to. Let me see what's that way first. Good call. You don't want to spread yourself too thin and lose track of everything. I already lost track of everything. We have the seven wonders of the world we have to explore, and then to top it all off, we have these killer Muppets hiding. Is that thing dead? Either that or the game of operation is getting a bit too realistic for my liking. It looks dead to me. Still, I personally wouldn't turn my back to it. You never know. Why is this locked? Damn it, are we in a dead end? 
Ah. Get out of there. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Now, slowly, easy does it. What the hell are you doing? I have to get to the other end of the hall. I didn't get to check it out. Okay, I think we're good. The game would most likely give out a huge cue if he got up. So what the hell is going on over here? Someone keeps taking the breakers that you use to open these doors. So I put them in those lock boxes around the basement. Here's a map of where they are in case you need to get through. Janitor Hank, it's Ray. So what does that even mean? We need to go around to those lock boxes that we came across and find the breakers. I, I remember one back here. Now I just have to get out of here without him getting up. I think you're good, maybe. Looks like we're in the clear. Of course, when we get the triangle key, that's when he'll probably get up. See, I knew it was these lock boxes he was talking about. Now, I just have to find the other three, and it opens those doors. With how big this facility is, I'm left wondering where these lock boxes could be. I'm still wondering what the show has to do with the war that was talked about earlier. I just want to know when the hell this takes place. As I was skimming the footage during our editing, I noticed that the repair note for Gordon said 1993. So the time that this game took place was exactly 30 years ago. So Gordon can't just call the SWAT team to airlift himself out of this place. I doubt Gordon could zip up his fly, let alone zip up a helicopter ladder. So that answers that. But what does this war even mean to the studio? Music. Music. Oh, These voices are certainly something else. If I remember correctly, the real life Sesame Street was made during the Vietnam War and the Civil Rights Movement. The aim was to teach young children how to navigate the constantly evolving American landscape, even talking to educational experts and child psychologists. It's incredible, very incredible, that you can remember little details from a 50-year-old kid show, but not which shoe to put on what foot. Oh, come on, you cannot tell me you haven't put on your underwear inside out or mixed up your lefts and rights? Something tells me you did both before you got here today. This thing is very verbal. What the hell is happening? This must be what modern day kindergarten teachers act like. You mean younger than the kids they teach? Something like that. I'm not too keen from your underwear comment. Oh, another lockbox. You really want to start a fight you can't stop, Donald? One swing of a chicken wing and you're either going to be knocked out or eating it. Today on Factor Cap, a trial of two testicles. Can you wedgie someone if they wear a diaper? Have you guys ever seen those Waffle House fights online? This is an oddly specific and random question, but I'm familiar. They're hilarious, very funny. Why do you ask? Before I continue, why is there just a boat here? I guess we're driving it now. What the hell? We just have a whole underground sewer passage here? I think it links to the other side of the basement. Listen, every time you two tortoises swing your necks around, I always think it'll lead into some senior citizen smackdown. Joe is senior enough. If I smack him again, he might recoil onto the ground like a jello figure. I already put the smack and smack down. You should know, of all people. Throw us in the ring and the crowd noise would probably KO you. Can I get food before this happens? Imagine if that was an election tiebreaker. A boxing match between the two candidates. So it does look like we're on the other side of the basement. A boxing match would probably be more engaging than the actual election, if I'm being honest. I don't think it would go very far. Half of the candidates have been around before colored television, me included. Skill-based matchmaking, Barry Sanders versus Joe Biden. Which crippled prune will bring home the title of not the saddest old guy? I wouldn't mind officiating that ring. You should reserve a couple hundred doctors in case one of them throws out their spine. I forgot about the foot rash in here. Also, complimentary coffins will be provided. Why am I subject to these experiments? We got another article here. I guess reading time was their favorite time here on The Neighborhood. As the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Gertzwald's precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, their first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating score brings the swashbuckling spirit into the theater in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. You're telling me these gross abominations had a whole damn movie? Four out of five stars, too. Seems like this show was relatively popular for the time being. Again, mimicking the success of Sesame Street or even the Muppets. The plot centers around a young lad named Clark, Jerry Love of everyone fame, who sets sail with the puppets in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of the ship, and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend, Ricky, to... 
and the article just gets cut off there. So this show was the bee's knees around the time it aired. It seems so. Wait a minute, was that... Yes, it was, another lockbox. So how many more do we have after this, just one? I think so, the problem is finding where that one is located at. Don't worry about it. With us three, we'll take them to the cleaners. You still haven't mentioned the details of fighting these things. Do we need to kill a certain amount? Do we have to survive a certain amount of time? What's the specifics here? Okay, you're taking the fun out of everything now. How, you ask the damn question. You know what? Never mind, just focus on the game. Are you serious? I hope your toilet seat in prison is a guy's lap. Well, there's the last lockbox. That took longer than it should have. We could have avoided Donald's talk about pool noodles if I found this earlier. It was a legitimate question. Don't criticize me. A legitimate question that gave me a legitimate picture in my head that I didn't exactly want. Like you never thought of it before? Just shut up. What am I looking at? kind of breaker box. I think uh, there were some slips of paper that told us which breakers go to what. Should be in your files. Right here. Club, diamond, heart, and then spade. I might sound crazy asking this again, but why are there puzzles just to turn on the damn power? You really have to stop holding these companies to expectations. Spade and heart, and there we go. So is this going to be the door that'll get us to the elevator? I'm hoping so. Uh, we got ourselves a mannequin problem. And a locked door, too. That's not good. Obama? Do we still have the shotgun? And we're pulling it out as we speak. Let's get out of here as soon as possible. I feel like I'm in a smut video. What's this? A cutter, huh? Wait, we can use that for the chain on the doors. Right, just give me a second. Don't you all come to life now. I'm not afraid to let the bullets fly. They probably would have already come to life by now. Hey, I don't want you jinxing things here. Cut the umbilical cord and let's get moving. Already on it. Looks like we're at another boating area. I wonder where this will take us. I think there was another area on the opposite side of the basement that had another dock. I guess it's no big deal that we're traversing the seven seas right now. Gordon must be numb from the highlighter fumes that he snorted in the car to think this is normal. Wait, let me check the map real quick. Okay, I think I know where we are. Let me do some quick reconnaissance before I venture back in. I think this is where Ray was. Looks like I was correct. Why are you moaning? Why does every damn puppet here moan? These puppeteers must have been in some freaky business behind the scenes. Yeah, but stop moaning. I think the more you talk about it, the more he likes it. He's being kink shamed to kink itself. Ask Moni Joni over here. You'd think he's narrating some rag mags. I'll just do us all a big favor and get rid of this pest. Where do we gotta go again? Elevator, this is like the fifth time we've told you. Oh, goodness gracious, is dementia contagious? I'm just glad we can finally take these chains off the handle. Can't tell you how many times I ran away from a puppet just to get body blocked by the door. Wait, we went up only a floor? This must be the elevator Ricky was talking about. You're telling me bubble butt Gordon couldn't climb up that ledge? Listen, the specifics aren't important. Let's just be glad that we're finally out of the basement. Here's the thing. This is where the tutorial ended last time. I have absolutely no idea what lies ahead of us. We could be taking the elevator to Hell's Kitchen for all I know. I wouldn't be surprised if we opened up the elevator to the Stanley Parable at this point. Don, I have some news to tell you. We might actually be in the Stanley Parable. From what I can tell, this looks like a walk of fame almost. I wonder if this was a dedicated hallway to their most successful projects. It's as grand as my hotels. And as pompous as them, too. Doors locked. Probably the same thing on the other side. Always good to double check before we move forward. Can't pick that up. And yeah, it's locked. Well, time to see what's ahead of the mist. This looks great. It's starting again. Like fun. My guess is that we're somewhat closer to the antenna. Now I really feel like a 1930s detective. Talk about grand entrances. Feels like we're walking around the entrance to Atlantis. They're still being generous with their ammo. Uh, I'm not complaining. It's never a bad thing, just remember that. Didn't expect anything to happen, but no news is good news too. Looks like this might be the next main area we'll have to explore. What the? Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid that for now. Was that a damn bat pig wedging his balls on the wall? I don't know what the hell it was. Ooh, I've got to say, I am liking this jazz music. This whole thing could be like a Rocket League stadium. Locked. Of course it is. Like the ball would come from the hand of the statue or something? No, that's not how Rocket League works. It's already set in the center of the field, and everybody races to it very fast and swift, like dodgeball routine. 
RLCS Castor Don over here. These lounges really remind me of mafia motives. Maybe I'm overreading things. But I wonder if this business had mob ties. Am I at a damn library? There's so much reading to do. ABCs can be pretty hard. As if you're not talking from experience. Last month marked seven years since the end of the war. So it seems like a good time to reflect on the impact it has had on our lives. Interesting. We get more war lore. For once, I'm actually intrigued to hear this one. I think across the whole city, the war has left us feeling troubled. We were called to service for the sake of righteousness, love for one city, and protecting others. But in the end, we found that those calls were just noble lies, and behind them, the horror of reality thwarted our starry-eyed ideals. We left home as heroes and came home as murderers. The dark deception that the American people finally opened their eyes to. But this tension leads to a question. Why should we care about right and wrong or friendliness, as the children's show puts it? Following such things can have a terrible cost. The only reason would be if there were some overarching purpose, some guiding goodness to our wanderings in the world. But that is exactly what an injustice like the war calls into question. They're linking international tragedy and war crimes to a damn kid show? Who wrote this garbage? Babylon B? The logic in that argument also seems incredibly flawed. Good intentions have started as many wars as selfish intentions have. Conflict cannot be avoided by doing the good thing or the bad thing, but it can be diminished depending on what you do. It also assumes that people only act in a certain way for ulterior motives. Even after being deceived, it's ignorant to question why we should do the right thing. I'm just outright bamboozled on why you link a kid's show to war. Did they think the alphabet was secret propaganda? Desperate times call for desperate measures, or something like that. Didn't know Ted Bundy worked here. The hell is that? The punctuation? We can switch to it. I think it might be a weapon of sorts. Interesting. I don't know how we could use it, though. Maybe it's like another wrench and we could just cause some internal brain damage. What if that backfires? Watch us get caught up in the smoke. True, we already have one brain-dead president. We don't need another. At least you come clean. What the hell is going on in here? You and Gordon have similar sentiments. Man, what the hell is that? He's coming at us pretty fast. Too fast. Time to get the hell out of here. It looked like it was a giant frog or toad. Crazy Frog really got a bit too crazy since he fell off. What the heck was that? You saw, Gordon. It was Crazy Frog. I think that was the gold statue in that one room from earlier. That's probably who made all of this mess, too. I'm starting to realize you know a lot of pop culture references. Who, me or Donald? Both, for that matter. Joe just sits on his couch butt naked and watches horror analysis. Speaking of watching, this looks like a whole movie theater. This might have been a screen room for testing new episodes or movies. I'm a dedicated man to media, very dedicated, and love digesting the recent fads within our society. You would be the type of person to watch a show like this. The hell? A mask? Waiting any moment for Jim Carrey to pop out around a corner and shove his horrible paintings down our throat? Well, we have absolutely zero room in our suitcase. We need to find a save point so I can move some of this crap over. We might have to discard a couple things. Depending on the size of everything, it can get pretty limited when it comes to spacing. Got it. I wonder if there's anything we can get rid of now. There probably is, but I would just wait until the save room. I doubt you can, but we don't want to throw away something important. If we saw Flock after all this time, I would kick Obama in the nuts. Not even being rude here, Don, but do you have the physical capacity to even lift your leg up to your hip? Okay, knee you in the nuts. He got out? More importantly, is he sucking on a Jolly Rancher? This is what it sounds like when you eat around us, Don. I am nowhere near that bad. He spotted us. Automatic nope. I don't even want to know how the hell we take down that thing. Possibly with the punctuation. But that would be my only guess. I just don't want to... another token. I just don't really want to fight that thing at all right now. With his size, he's a king for the ring. And I really don't want to restart all the way back in the damn basement. Let's just see if he's still out there. Okay, good. He left. Not without leaving a mess, though. He probably thought those puppets in the theater were a buffet of delectable dishes. Something tells me we might need a bigger fridge if we're going to have him around. Don may have a rival for our grocery bill. Listen, I spend double of that on DoorDash. You know those beached whales that end up near the shore? If you value what little time you have left, don't finish that sentence. Oh, the music rings out once again. Finally a safe room. Only took us across the bridge to Terabithia.
There's another one of those masks. We can do something with that once we get our inventory set up. Wait, someone's phone ringing? Why the hell is my phone ringing? I told you guys not to disturb me while we're recording. I guess, what is it? I've been what? What's going on? Oh, goody, another horribly made horror game. The first thing you say is a damn complaint. Honestly, it's impressive. This is SCP Containment Breach, a game about a private facility used to contain dangerous organisms. I think I've heard the slogan before. Secure, contain, protect. Yep, that's what SCP stands for. Let me guess. You know everything about this game, like the foreskin measurements of some of the characters. What? Actually, I only know a few select things. I'm going in pretty much blind, more than I already am. Interesting. I'll be the first one up to bat then. So we have absolutely no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Fantastic, it's like my inauguration. What a ceiling to wake up to after a nap. Wow, amazing view here. I almost mistook this for the Bahamas. Just think, Don, this will be you one day. Yeah, real good joke you made. The core of American principles are crumbling at the foundation and you're over here cracking jokes like eggs. Don, it's literally not that deep. I like our living quarters here. Are we actually in prison or something? Well, if you take a look at that paper, we're actually an inmate on death row and we were offered this opportunity to be pardoned of our offenses. We have to cooperate with all of the instructions we're given and if we don't, we're sent back to death row. Let me take a gander here and yep, that's what it says. Did you really doubt Joe? He knows more about horror games than his own damn anniversary. Who the hell is at the door? Well, if we're in a prison, most likely prison guards. So that means you should probably listen to them. Great unneeded authority. Are these umbrella soldiers? I think we're in some high security facility. Look at their equipment. Well, no shit, Captain. Obviously, we were an entire death row inmate. We had to do something nefarious. They probably looked at your browsing history. Yeah, because they would have shot you on sight if they saw yours. Well, this looks promising. Yeah, let's instantly trust the random. What the hell is that? Why does it have shit stains on its legs? Barbie didn't really choose the best life decisions. Origin is as of yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull? Basically, the second you look away, he'll teleport to you and instantly kill you. Seems like the average resident of Vermont. You're just going in guns blazing, huh? No point holding back. Whoa! I don't like this. You're gonna want to focus, Barack. Don't worry, I am, Joe. I, I'm staying as far away from that thing as possible. And whatever you do, do not look away. Trust me, I had no intention. This guy's fucking stupid for just approaching it like that. Not much of a choice. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I'm staying near this door. Yeah, don't get back in that chamber. I don't know what to do if I'm being honest. What's happening? Barack, just keep looking. Oh shit, they're dead. Back up from the cell, Barack. On it. What the hell happened? You hear that? I doubt guns will work on that thing. Go back to the save point and save the game immediately. Already doing it. Shit just went from zero to 100 real damn quick. And with that, welcome to SCP Containment Breach. Yeah, where they're as secure as a sports bar. I won't lie, Joe, I'm very on edge right now. This, this is a wild feeling. That's probably because this is a whole new game. No, this isn't anything close to games like Poppy Playtime or even FNAF. I mean, my hairs are standing upright. That's what Containment Breach will do to you. This game has a bit of helplessness to it and that's because of the pacing. You go from this, this calm and controlled atmosphere to an absolute nightmare meltdown in a matter of seconds. I think that and the fact that I have no clue where to go and, and no time to make a decision. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I can even hear all the screams throughout the facility. It, it's like they're uh, at a Taylor Swift concert. Well, that's reassuring. I can see the comparison to a Taylor Swift concert, except they're dying a horrible death. Let's be real, Joe. Death can't be much worse than a Taylor Swift concert. Might actually be better if I'm being honest. Well, these screams certainly aren't helping with staying calm. Just remember that it's only there to set the ambience. This place is scary, but also massive. I have so many places that I can go, but I'm afraid something terrifying is down there. 
It's only one monster, and you should be fine as long as you stare at it. Actually, it's not just one SCP. It's an entire containment facility for them. Say what? SCP-173 won't be the only monster you deal with. Assume that every single room that held these SCPs has been opened. You're fucking joking, right? I have no motivation to throw jokes right now, Don. Everything I'm telling you is serious. You guys gonna say something or what? We're an inmate, right? We probably don't have anything to live for in the free world. We might as well just end it here. A death row inmate? So we, we really don't have anything back at home. I think you know what that means. SCP-1123 is a human skull missing the lower mandible and all its teeth. Across the forehead is modern Khmer script, written in human blood. That translates as, remember, when a subject approaches STP-1123, they will report anomalous sensory phenomena. Whatever the hell that means. Basically, you would experience hallucinations while approaching it. But this goes to show that not all SCPs are technically dangerous. Yeah, they're only in a whole damn facility. I'm really not liking these noises. What are you going to say next, Joe? Are the FNF animatronics here too? Do I have to see Foxy doing the cha-cha slide towards me? No, but to be honest, they probably need to put spring trap here. Why do you say that? Just things. Can I say really quickly that I have absolutely no idea what the hell to do? Well, you already know that you need to get out of this place. A while back, you tried to go into a room, but you couldn't. Now, the reason why was because you needed a certain key card. Finding key cards to access different rooms will help you advance faster. Got it. Yeah, exactly what you said. I guess my problem is that I'm also being super cautious, especially because I have absolutely no clue what we're dealing with. This seems like it's just a giant damn storage unit for these things. Well, yeah, it's almost like it's called a fucking containment center. I didn't ask for the attitude, Joe. In fact, I don't believe I asked for your input at all. You're like the creepy uncle nobody wants at family gatherings, but they have to invite you because they're related to you. Well... That doesn't sound like he's having fun. Obama, what are you doing? Avoiding all of that, whatever the hell is going on there. I don't think you have to be super cautious, considering you have a pretty good field of view for seeing what's ahead of you. Just make sure to be on your toes when stuff pops up. Are you forgetting who you're talking to? Obama's cautious to speak up to his own damn wife. He's sure as hell gonna look at every nook and cranny before moving forward. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, stop mentioning my wife. Third of all, I'm in a death pit asylum full of Scooby-Doo villains. What do you want me to do? Business as usual because you just described the damn Senate. I've made almost no progress this entire game. I'm starting to, what the hell? The fuck is happening? Get out of there. I am, I am. Oh, that's not good. Try to go around it. That's what I'm gonna try. And... Donald, why the hell do I ever listen to what you tell me to do? The fuck do you mean? You didn't even try to avoid it. It was like you cartwheeled in front of it. What even killed me? I don't really know. Like I said, this game really isn't my expertise. Not yet, anyways. Well, Donald, do you want to take the next turn? You're damn right I will, and I'll be the very best at it. I always knew you were the best inmate. I tried my best back there, but it's just something about the atmosphere that makes it so difficult to pursue. And he's right there to, yeah. We're just gonna back up real slowly here. Like I said, the situation that we're stuck in was part of a rapid change. We went from a controlled experiment to a harrowing escape from death in the matter of 30 seconds. Don, what are you doing? You were right, Obama, this is different. You barely left the room. Well, now I am. The world's best security guard is on the scene to put these monsters behind bars. I don't think that's our job here. Yeah, we're just trying to escape this place. I thought you knew that. Same thing, really, as long as I don't have to deal with them in the long run. Don't die right away. Remember, you have to stare at SCP-173 and can't lose track of him. I read the paper too, Obama. I know what we have to do. I'm a president, not a toddler. It's a toss-up on some days, if I'm being honest. You're just projecting because you wear adult diapers. Hey, I told you that in confidence, and I don't wear them anymore. Wait, you wore them in the first place? Are you really surprised that he did? Not particularly. Just caught me off guard. Exactly. It's like accidentally eating gluten-free foods or something. What the? There's no way you already died. I just said not to die right away. How was I supposed to avoid that? He was hiding behind the door. In other words, you just suck. For you two cat fight, let me take my turn. Joe, can I ask a serious question here? These normally don't end up being so serious, but go ahead. Why do you fall so much? Don, come on now, get a new joke. Listen, I'm not making fun of him or anything. This is an actual serious question. He's fallen upstairs off a bike, even on a flat platform with a sandbag. Do you just get dizzy or does your body just get so weak that you 
She uh, physically can't stop it. You could have picked a better time to ask this, but I think of it as my muscles just randomly fall asleep. In a blink of an eye, just like that? You know how when you sit on your leg awkwardly, it'll just grow numb? Like when it falls asleep? Exactly, but imagine it just suddenly happening out of nowhere, and you don't have the capable strength to keep yourself up. So you're not really a standing president, you're a falling president. That might be your funniest joke yet, and it still didn't make me laugh. Well, I'm sorry, but the fact that FDR could stand up better than this man is outright ridiculous. How are you failing more than someone who had polio? Because I can't stand being around you. Joe, I'm really trying to defend you here. Please don't make it worse. And he's in there, so I think we're, we're just going to stay out of that room. Well, next time you go up to one of your speeches, I'll make sure you have a nice trip then. How are both of your guys' jokes getting more and more terrible? I wonder if this is what clinically insane people think their hospital looks like. Why is nobody saying anything? I can't believe you compared me to FDR. Are you still on that? It's been like five minutes, get over it. I was just contemplating life, wondering why I'm choosing this place to be of all places. I'm also trying to focus here too. Again, I'm not the most knowledgeable when it comes to this game. You've clearly talked during games before that this should be no different. I think you're just being too sensitive. You also crossed the line way too many times, Don, and that's why some people don't like talking to you that often. You're not considerate of other people. What does Ben Shapiro say? Facts don't care about your feelings, and that's a motto I try to live by. Ben Shapiro also pleases his wife, as well as a blind man who plays darts. Is that another alma mater you embrace? You have no room to talk, Sleepy Joe. Nor do you. Okay, if anybody has no room to talk, it's you, Obama. You gave her eight years as the first lady and two kind of decent-looking kids, and she still looks perpetually pissed. Only around you, Don. She's a very pleasant woman to be around. Is she really? Yeah. Is she really? Yes, she is. Both of you need to stop. Obama, blink twice if you're in danger. One thing I remember from originally playing this game is that it can be a running simulator sometimes. What does that mean? This game has a very vastly large map and thus will be taking a large ordeal of time to properly explore. Well, with Joe, that'll take however long he has left on this planet. Obama, pass me the chips. A please would be nice, but here you go. Despite how big it is, we still want to sweep through the entirety of the map. There are multiple tools that will enable us to escape. How long will that take, though? Even though it will take long, this process will allow us to look at... Why are you chewing so damn loud? I thought you already knew about Donald's bedside manners. What, is there a problem or something? You sound like a cow eating grass. I think you can play its appearance, too. Listen, it, eating with my mouth closed hurts my gums, and I'm not having any blistered dentures take up cap space for my teeth. My pearly whites will not be compared to Joe's horse-made fake teeth. I think that's more of an insult towards Boris Johnson than it is me. It's probably more of an insult for the entire UK than it is for you. The hell is that noise? What the? Whoa. What in the octopus hell is that? Whatever it is, I'm getting away from it. You don't even know what it is? No, I told you that I'm just as blind as you guys going into this. He also said that a lot, Donald. Do you listen at all? Not to liberals. It's kind of upsetting how we haven't really had any progress at all. Well, you know what upsets me? Everything and everyone that doesn't hail down to Donald Trump. Well, that, but why do people look at me so vastly different than Obama? Class, accomplishments, and trustworthiness are all big reasons, but there's many others that we can run through really quickly. You mean lies, lies, and more lies? If that isn't the sound, did a damn bomb go off or something? No clue. But listen, it's not like we're in leagues of our own. Everybody gets on my back for the government shutdown, but you had one as well, Obama. Does anybody ever mention that? No, it's like you had to go looking for that information on some foreign website or something. During my term, the government shut down because members of the House wanted to add provisions onto another bill. Joe, what are you doing? Backing away from whatever this is. That would delay the Affordable Care Act. Oh, what the hell? Oh, we're dead. Obama's ranting about stupidity and we're about to die. It was a moral disagreement that the Senate and I weren't going to easily back away from. Your government shutdown is just associated with a damn wall. We had an entire drug trip and you somehow still found a way to complain. You quite literally asked for it. Yeah, and, um, and thanks to Congress for just planting their boot in my mouth, all the materials for that wall went to hell in a handbasket. Now we just have a train of drugs and terrorism coming from the other side of the border. For the record, I just wanted to say that I haven't had a government shutdown yet. Keyword, yet. That's some pretty low-hanging fruit, Joe. Well, since there's nowhere else to go, we'll take this elevator.
I, I do not have a good feeling about this. It's impressive that you can even think about feeling good in this place. You're right, Don. I also do not have a good feeling about this. Well, this is certainly something. It's like I'm playing Doom. Um, what? I don't know, and I don't care. We're just getting out of here. Were my eyes playing tricks on me? Was that a giant lizard? Uh, it looked like a failed dinosaur abortion. I call it whatever name in the book, but I think it's best that we stay away from that area. Joe, if I'm being honest, we've pretty much explored everywhere else. Uh, you know what? You're right. We have to go back. Wait, I, I zoned out there for a second. Why are we back here? We have no other options, really. We've pretty much explored all the avenues we can besides this one. The well has run pretty dry, but you know what they say. High risk, high reward. Yeah, chant that little chant of yours as we're being devoured and consumed by a Komodo dragon. Yeah, I, I think you're already very well aware of this, Joe. But be very careful around these corners. You never know what could be lurking in the dark. I'm very hesitant on approaching everything. And that's the reason why. Yeah, just get out of Dodge on that one. Are you serious? Wait, why did I just hear a person talk? Oh, I remember these things. You do? Yeah, these guys can perfectly imitate the voices of their past victims to lure in new ones. That's nice. That is creepy, man. Yeah, I'm not liking this. Uh-oh, did they spot us? I honestly don't know, but we might be out of luck no matter what. It looks like they're patrolling the entire function. Don't you have some leftover officer corpses to feast on or something? Why are there so many of them in the first place? Might have just been how they contain them. There you are. I think one's right on the other side. Yeah, I can see those slimy lizard legs. He's in no rush, is he? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, he's disgusting looking. I can't tell if they look like Mitch McConnell or Nancy Pelosi. Or their secret love child. And we're just going to slowly slip away. Oh, there you are. Nice. There you go, Joe. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't know how much we can advance in that area. Plus, there might be something we missed. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm not a big fan of those cracks on the floor. Can't wait for Godzilla to just break through the floor and devour us whole. What's that sound? Uh, we're just going to close that and pretend that didn't happen. What in tarnation was that? Not Godzilla, I know that. What? He's chasing us? He just walked through the door, this is not good. Run, Joe! That's what I'm doing! What is that, Joe? I don't know, I've never seen that. Yep, someone call the funeral home, we're goners. Shut up, Don, let Joe figure this out. There's not much to figure out here. If he can walk through doors, we might be screwed. Can you get back to the elevator? That's what I'm trying to find. Uh-oh, dead end. Quick, do something. Get out of the way! Something tells me he didn't get out of the way. Well, that didn't go as planned. Thanks, Captain Obvious. We always needed a laugh or two as our spine is in our jaw. Well, needless to say that I'll be doing some research over the weekend to make sure this doesn't happen again. Is there anything online? Yeah, there's a whole website about this, but I think it's separate from the game. Your family doesn't have a good reputation with computers. Like father, like son. Your silence doesn't prove me wrong. Shut, Shut up, up already. already. Sonic? Check your prescriptions, Joe. This isn't a horror game. Just wait a couple seconds. Wait, what the? What was that? Wait, is this Sonic EXE? I thought you would have known this, Donald. I swear, you mentioned this game before. The, the, the concept I heard about, many, many memes were made of it. Lots of memes, but I never played through the title. Well, that's what we'll be doing today. I felt like going a bit classic for today's recording. So what is this even about? Is this just Sonic, but a horror game version of it? How does it even work? There's three too many questions in what you just asked, Obama. It's quite simple, really. You'll see as we dive in. Speaking of, who would like to do the honors of playing through the game this time? I elect Donald. Oh, but you couldn't do that at primaries, though. Let's start before the side conversations do. Let's start her up. Well, is anything going to happen? Off to a great start, aren't we? I don't know whose chinchilla we just stepped on, but it was loud. Hill, act one. Just like the normal Sonic game. Someone should fix the record player, though. How am I supposed to walk in peace? 
besides the orchestration work in the back seems like a pretty normal Sonic game to me. Yeah, but why are we playing his tails? Sonic can't even appear in his own game? To be fair, he wasn't available on the menu. Nobody was. Why is it just tails? This is a fan game after all. Wait, is this thing dead? It looks like someone ate him. It's all dead. Wait, Donald, how long does this go on for? Let's see here. Quite some time, Obama, quite some time. Jeez, it's like the yellow brick road of agony and death. Yeah, I think we're taking a peer at Lyndon Johnson's presidency right now. I don't think you have room to talk there, Donald. You especially don't. That pile back there was probably done by your own hands. Always arguing, I see. Wait, the music stopped. And you're complaining? That's not. Wait, it's Sonic. I guess we know what happened to the wildlife. And now there's static. Tails, you just passed through a murder field behind Sonic. Why would you do this? And he's dead. Well deserved, I suppose. Why would he do that? Hello. Goodbye. Do you want to play with me? No. Hide and seek? I guess we found Sonic. Well, guess where we ended up? Did Yami Yugi send us to the Shadow Realm or something? I think it was actually Sonic, because why was there just a blaze of corpses behind him and he was just stanced up? Why is Tails not affected by these fires? Is Hill Zone 1 just a place in California? This has to be the coolest night in Orlando. I've been to Orlando. It wasn't even that hot down there. Jeez! Well, Sonic's chasing us. Tails clearly doesn't seem to care because he has zero effort or hustle. A demon is chasing you. Run faster! The music is getting more intense. And Tails doesn't care. And now he's crying? Are you getting PTSD or something from seeing that? The crying child after image. Whoa! Well, that's something. Pitbull owners assuring us that their dog doesn't bite. Meanwhile, it's mauled its fifth person of the week. All while having the name of princess or something. Oh, not this again. Want to try again? No, I don't think I will. Well, it looks like we can't. Tails is dead. Knuckles it is, I guess. Let's hope we can give Sonic the knuckles. Not with that laugh, we won't. Laughing like Optimus Prime. You can't run. Great way to start a level. Knuckles seems to be running pretty well, actually. He can throw some haymakers as well. Sonic will definitely have a tough time taking this guy down. Don't speak too soon. Sonic treated Last Zone like a firing range. Obama, you hear this music? Yeah. And I can see what's happening, too. Well, I guess we keep running, then. Something tells me that the overall theme here is to run away from Sonic. You're not lying. We have more blood, lots of blood. Psych Ward Sonic is back at it again. We should just keep running. Uh. Well, there goes Knuckles. Uh-oh. Is this a boss fight? Punch him, Donald. I can't. He's somehow teleporting right behind me every time I try to. Can't Sonic move faster than light to begin with? Well, it looks like we were dead on arrival, Don. Doesn't help when Knuckles doesn't try either. You could pack a punch in those frail swings of yours. Die in my hands. And Knuckles is dead, too. I understand why Tails screamed like that, but you think Knuckles would have a deeper scream. Did Sonic explode his balls as well? Nothing in the universe is compelling you to ask these questions. And he's back. Why does he talk like he's 50,000 cigarettes deep? Deep into what? The day? Let's just see if Eggman can put up a bigger fight. He is Sonic's nemesis, after all. Is he going to laugh? Well, it looks like I already got the answer to that question, huh? The range in Sonic's voice is certainly interesting. He can sound like a werewolf and a witch at the same time. He's the voice actor that nobody asked for. We got all periods here and a creepy piano. Eggman looking like he might be allergic to running. I can see why his nickname is Eggman. I thought that was your nickname. Why? Is it uh, because you're going to say I'm built like an egg? Well, if the shoe fits, but I was just going to say that it looks like you're allergic to running. Apparently not because look at Eggman go. He clearly doesn't fear head injuries at all. I mean, when Sonic the Undertaker's after you, I wouldn't fear injuries either. The only thing he fears is a Subway sandwich, let me just tell you. If I saw the way Sonic treated his friends, I certainly don't want to see the way he treats his enemies. I've been running for an awfully long time. Besides, quite literally running out of a stamina bar, what are we supposed to do? You could always try just standing still. 
Maybe we're not supposed to run at all. Who knows in this game? No, I assure you, the most you can do right now is just keep running. Well, now we definitely have to run. The witch doctor is here. Is there even a point? I mean, he can just teleport, right? We just need to leave. And we're dead. Yep, looks like a death screen is coming in hot right now. Did we just die in FNAF? What's happening right now? Maybe the game just ends here? Like it's soft locks, maybe? Whoa, hello, Sonic. My, what sharp teeth you have. Are you going to eat at Golden Corral or something? Cracking jokes at whatever this thing is is certainly interesting when he looks like he's going to feast on our organs. What else can I do? I'm not scared. We played Akamanto. This just looks like a game made on Windows XP. Uh, and someone unplugged the cable cord again. You want to go check that, Obama? I won't lie. I thought you guys would have been more intimidated by this. We've also been thrown into way scarier games. The flash aspect can only get so scary when we've had literal demons crawl after us in the third dimension. Ready for round two. Wait, is there still more game to play? Nope. Tails just gets booted back to the pits of fire. Is this what the citizens of Arizona have to witness at their borders every day? Well, guys, what did you think of Sonic EXE? Wasn't too scary, but I, the concept was a bit eerie, to say the least. I came all the way here to the studio just to play a walking simulator and to get stabbed three separate times. Pick a better game next time. Say no more. I already have several ideas in mind. Donald, what have you done? You're going to love this game, guys. Poppy Playtime is such a great experience. What the hell is with you in creepy old places, Joe? Let me guess. This was the neighborhood you grew up in. Don, think about this. Joe was alive at the same time Mussolini was. That's like the fucking Stone Age, Joe. Die already. Shut the hell up. I had a stressful time in Ireland, and I want to just relax already. How many times did you fall asleep in Ireland? That doesn't matter. Too many to count. What happened to Sesame Street? Is that a Pokemon or whatever it's called? You'll find out throughout the game. Since Barack is playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Donald can play this game. Yeah, I get to explore a factory with an overgrown Build-A-Bear. That isn't creepy. Well, run away, Poppy. You're around Joe Biden. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Donald? That she's around Joe Biden. It's a very self-explanatory sentence. This reminds me of those old training videos they would show employees. Uh, except it merges into the back rooms. What the hell is this? Looks like a flower. If I'm guessing, it's a poppy flower. And now we're watching the ring tape. This foreshadows by great things to come in the future. A and now we see the title of the game. Uh, I have a lot of confidence moving forward now. Why are you so fucking negative all the time? Because I'm around you. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Well, Donald, you heard your instructions. Look at this tape. I told you assholes that we were caught in a paradox, but none of you guys wanted to believe me. Uh, Donald, just put the tape in the VCR ahead of you. Whatever. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Oh. Yeah, we're dealing with high rollers in the security budget when there's poop stains on the walls. These are dangerous toes I'm stepping on. This is an old tape. You have to assume when this factory was top product, it probably was very intimidating. Wait, this guy's name was Lath? Lath Pierre. Either he's French or his parents did not like him as a child. Both, maybe. I mean, if your child was French, wouldn't you also be disappointed? I'd be disappointed if they were any kind of European. Isn't Baron Melania's kid? Yeah. And Melania's Yugoslavian, right? That's right. Never mind, I see what you're laying down. That's going to need a security key to open, won't it? Well, it definitely requires a code. While you two nincompoops are over-collecting the scraps of your brain cells, I already know the objective. And what may that be? You see this train running above here. Notice how it has colors? Yeah, but how is it running if this factory is abandoned? That's the code we need. Wait a minute, how the hell is that train running? Good job, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Look at this nice little toy in the window. Is this a vacuum cleaner? Is our job here to be the damn maid? A ten-year late maid. I presume I have to pop this tape into the VHS again? You'd be correct. That tape goes over how to use the item in the glass. Ah, my favorite music from the menu. It's like I'm in a retirement home. Donald, don't you dare say a word. Joe, when did this game take place? This is an interesting invention for the time period this game is set in. You're telling me that this factory was advanced enough to make giant hand slappers that attach on your back, but couldn't go beyond VHS video quality. The media and pieces of technology that you'll find throughout this game span all throughout multiple years of the industry. Remember, this factory was open for decades. This grab pack doesn't look like something from today. Just interesting to me. Leave it to Joe to find us another horror game that has no real base. Did he just rip his fucking head off? Yeah, the training video is to instruct how to use the grab pack. Like right here, you can use it to rewire electric circuits. 
and what not to do, like rip someone's head off. Just the casual things. I can reach items on the top shelf, air bend some electric waves, and land in prison for a double homicide. And now we say, let the magic begin. Where's the other arm? I didn't know this grab pack was an amputee. Now you can only commit singular homicide. Yeah, f this toy factory. I don't know who mailed that load of absolute horse in that envelope, but this whole place is getting destroyed. Donald, what the hell are you doing? I'm peacefully protesting, as you Democrats would say. Donald, you're vandalizing an already vandalized building, and it's not even vandalism. You're just moving some boxes around. Oh, then that's enough of that. I might as well just be working here. Funny, the second you mention work, that's when he stops. Come on, it won't hit the damn thing. There we go. You know, you could have just gone around the metal entrance, right? You know damn well that's too much like common sense. Worth a shot. That took way too long. What the hell? Yeah, that's the guy from the menu. You can realize how tall he is now. Tall? He's like the damn jolly green giant. Seriously, though, someone sign him to an NBA team. All right, listen here, Beanstalk. I'm just going to take your little box of crap over here, and I'll see my way out of here. Ain't nothing in this factory worth investigating. Playtime Company has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys... Barack was reading that, Donald. I am not enjoying this music at all. This does not give me very friendly vibes. Welcome to the factory. Take a high five, you creepy bitch, and leave me alone for the rest of the game. Something tells me that isn't good. What the hell was that? Don't look now, Donald, but remember when you high-fived Huggy. Joe, why does he have this? I high-fived him. That should have told his chakra points not to break the laws of physics and whip out a key from nowhere. Doesn't matter where it came from, we know where we have to go now. I, I do not trust this thing at all. I will not turn my back towards an enemy. That's like asking to be defiled. You're on your toes, at least. Staff only. Well, apparently to Obama, I can't read, so that's not a problem. Uh, you really just put anything in anybody's mouth and just roll with it. I don't believe I even said that yet in your imaginary world. It just fabricated itself. The hell do you mean I can't misuse company time? I get paid three cents to move boxes around. I'll do whatever the hell I want. Remember, Don, you're in there to turn the electricity back on. Try to find something that will allow you to do that. I think I already found it. I just need to know how to turn it back on. Well, remember the training video. You can conduct electricity with that hand. Try to find a circuit or something. Is this it? The thing with the handle? And Donald is right once again. So if you don't know already, you're going yeah. to take that circuit with your hand and drag it to that standing orange tower from earlier. I'm going to keep an eye on old tall legs over here. I'm not getting run up on. And the electricity is back on... Joe, what the hell happened to Huggy Wuggy? Whatever happened, it looks like he's not here anymore. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm done for now. What? You can't quit. We literally just started the game. Want to see me? Play the outro. What? Well, it looks like I'll take over for the time being. We went four minutes into the game and quit. How can you be such a damn loser, Donald? My conditions were clear, Joe. I high-fived the hairy giant and told him to leave me alone. And look what did not occur. 45th president doesn't get what he wants and he throws a damn hissy fit. Classic Donald. This place looked big on the outside, but damn, it's bigger on the inside. I could say a lot right now, but I'll keep my mouth shut. Please. Hey, Donald, I think we found where Huggy went. That's a big arm. That's a very big arm. How tall is he? Roughly 15 to 20 feet. Well, I see no problem moving forward here. Clearly no present danger that is alarming us of what's ahead. At least it's not me playing anymore. America's biggest hypocrite over here. Can I just move all these giant Lego blocks? Is this a pathway of darkness past this? Hopefully. I think even hell would be a better place to go than through that door. Don't speak too soon. Nope, just a reflectional panel. What could have been? Like that fake tunnel in the canyon on Looney Tunes. Stairway to hell. Ask and you shall receive, Don. Looks to be an occupancy of one, too. It's like it was made for you. I still stand by my original statement. I'm interested and scared to see what's going on in here. Oh, no. A long and dark hallway never killed anybody. Yeah, it was what was in the hallway that killed them. Ah! Relax, guys. Just a gas pipe. Is it leaking carbon monoxide to kill us, hopefully? How does this place still have running gas? Hasn't it been 10 years? The continuity of this game absolutely just makes zero sense whatsoever. I know you hate it when I complain about game logic, but at least make some things congruent to real-world applications. Uh, if you get upset at this boy, Howdy, would you not like what the developers of this game did? Please don't tell me it was NFTs. Now, Barack, what if I told you that was exactly what happened? 
Can we go back to check that the gas leak really was carbon monoxide? What are we doing here? Use context clues. What does it look like you guys have to do? Joe, you really need to think about who you asked that question to. Set the bar low. Got it. You have to gather power banks and put them on the dock. This will allow you to get the second arm for the grab pack. Odd how a factory's primary use of resources has to be managed through kitty puzzles. Well, Playground Company is a company that makes kids toys. It's not practical, but I, I, I can see why they implemented these things. That's business failure 101. Like I would waste the budget flopping my Disneyland dick on the table because I wanted the under operations to feel magical. It's a wonder they didn't shut down sooner. They shut down for other reasons that you'll find out soon enough. If Joe's hiding it, that doesn't promise anything good. Yeah, just look at his tax cuts he gave to oil companies. Remember when you were a kid and you had to put the blocks in the hole, like the square block in the square hole? Donald was definitely the kid to put the square block in the circle. Damn right, and it worked to perfection, making the impossible seem possible. That's what Donald Trump is all about. That's just another word for cutting corners. And that's what Donald Trump is really all about. Joe, you, you probably sucked on a wood spoon or something as entertainment. I mean, you probably do that now. It, it would explain why your teeth resemble those of a wolf's rotting carcass. Listerine won't fix that. I don't think even bleach will. It's like structural damage to his bone marrow. Oh, what a boot of horse shit. Have you seen Barack's teeth? It's like he, he professionally competes with beavers. And you say Donald projects his issues. Speaking of Donald, how can you forget his teeth? You mean my pearly whites? Dentures don't count, Don. How the hell did we go from square blocks to who has the worst teeth? Damn, we are old. You are old. I am not. And Donald's lying again. Also, I got all the power cells, Joe. Um, what? What the fuck? Did you hear that? I saw that. That door fucking moved. You want to fill me in on what the hell just happened, Joe? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? You can put the pieces together. And with that note, I think it's about time we hightail it out of here, Obama. We got another arm now. Can we go back and leave this place? It's really cool that all the employees are here, but I don't care enough to risk my life around our boy siren head. Well, there was a door back there with both a red and a blue handprint. Now that we have both hands, maybe we could move on. Well, that's not concerning. Are you fucking kidding me? Looks like we're going down a one-way road. Leave it to Joe to keep shit from us. You could do the least bit and explain to us what the hell is going on here. You're not even missing out on much. You know the whole premise. Looks like we have to go back this way. Venturing closer towards that tall amalgamation of toaster parts. Yeah, real fun times at the Playtime factory. He's not even that bad. If he's that tall, there's no way he can move fast. Have you seen how long that motherfucker's arm is? He could probably wear me like a sock puppet. That's an image in my head I wish I could unsee. Oh, hell, I forgot about the fan art. Dare I ask what it looks like for this game, Joe? A thousand times worse than whatever you're imagining. This hand did not want to connect. Drawings like that have got to be a hate crime in some country. Depending on what the art is about and who it includes, it could be roped under a defamation case. If it's any other country that's not a first world country, you'd probably get put in front of a firing squad. Especially Brazil. Have you seen that place? It's like fallout with drug dealers and machetes. I think you'd get shot in Brazil for putting up a fruit stand, let alone defamation. Anything below Texas is not reputable as a safe place to live. Texas included. So what's going on here? Weird place to put a maze, but I'm done arguing logic in this game. You have to connect the circuits like you did earlier in the electrical room. The puzzles get harder as it goes on, right? As they always do. Try to pull it around the thing. Yeah, that really fucking helps, Don. Just sit there and focus on commentary while you leave the puzzles to me. First, jump off a cliff. Second, Obama was right. What ordinance was cleared to allow this horseshit in the depths of the factory? I thought you said you were done questioning the logic. There, got it. Good job, Barack. Yeah, you figured out a puzzle designed for toddlers. Ring the party bells. I can't take anything you say seriously after you gave up, Don. That was just too big of a loss for you to recover. And that's after five bankruptcies, two divorces, and a criminal record. Society hates to see a white man win. Is this trash? The game is really telling you what they think of you. Another classic Donald joke. A couple more and they might let you back on The Late Show. They're actually toy parts, by the way. Damn, they threw Freddy in the wood chipper. No third game, because they all fucking died. We're still playing the third game, Don. Worth a shot. Damn, how big is this factory? I, uh, oh, I don't like that at all. Remember they used to do factory tours. They most likely redesigned it to be consumer friendly. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. Mm -hmm. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co's greatest feats. Yet of all the amazing things he created, 
The Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. Did they show this to the public too? This is such a hazard to the people, it's an accident waiting to happen. You think people would be smart enough to recognize the danger? No, they're not, Joe. Giving too much credit to the public here. Seems like nothing is working, no matter what I do. Well, the overall theme here is a blackout. So do, do we have to turn on the power again? Seems you know better than I do, Don. He would know about shady business practices. This feels like a factory out of comic books, like what crazy person thought it would be wise to set up each individual room off of its own power source? Elliot Ludwig, I guess. What the hell do you have our kids learning nowadays, Joe? Are you making them fall asleep too? Our education system is the greatest it's been in 50 years. We're excelling in all major subjects compared to other nations. Yeah, a 1% increase in performance. Let's burst open the champagne. Meanwhile, the average household income is at an all-time low, and we're obsessed with security breaching TikToks. Donald, you would be the type of person to be concerned about international cybersecurity, but will watch online porn sites with so many viruses. You think it came from a lab. Then if you guys have any better ideas, tell me what the hell is happening. This puzzle is giving me a bit of trouble. It's only extending to a certain length, so there's a specific way to do this. Remember, anything that has a handle on it, you can most likely pull it. Oh, shit. So that's what you were talking about, Joe. Really? You couldn't have just, I don't know, told us that? To get better at horror games, you have to build your problem-solving skills. The best way for improvement is to just get your hands dirty. We have to be independent, as you say, Don. Also, it seems I'm in a bit of a pickle. What is it? I know I have to cross the bridge now, but how do I pull it to the other side? Well, so much for independence. I'm trying to pull it, but I keep grabbing onto nothing. Ugh, and now we're just hanging. Hey, Donald, this remind you of anyone? Don't say it, Joe. I don't have to, but you know who else was hanging like Spider-Man. Wait a minute. And I think I got it figured out. That one was really tough. It really makes you think outside the box. You really just made us sit here for 20 fucking minutes when you knew what to do the whole time. You old bastard. I genuinely wish you have a stroke. It builds character. Besides, you had nothing better to do at that time than read every bad thing about you online. It's not going... There we go. A job well done by yours truly. Why did we even need to do this? It's been so long, I genuinely don't know what's going on. It was to turn on the toy machine. We, we need to make a toy so we can move on to the next area. It's not doing anything. Did I do something wrong? Fucking hell! Damn! That started up like a wind turbine. I don't think that loud noise was good for Sleepy Joe's heart. I'm perfectly fine. No, you're not, Joe. You sound raspy and old. You're just being an asshole, Don, but what else is new? Uh, you guys seeing this? Yeah, I see it. His eyes are actively following you around. What, is it sentient as well? Did some snot-nosed kid also get stuffed in this? To be honest, this one would be more believable. I'd rather not have it be sentient. Those eyes look like they've been around since the Civil War. Oh, what the hell? Lasers? Are we Eggman's laboratory or something? How the hell do they have something that's not beyond government authority and they're making damn kids toys out of it? I will admit, to make such a technological revolution and then applying it to toys is a bit peculiar. More like flat f stupid. You know how much money they could have made if they sold the rights away? Edward Ludwig's operating a damn clown car over here. Maybe you should work here, Don. Fire half the staff and take over full time because you surely know what you're doing. I would fire them if there was any staff left. They probably all croaked with how incompetent they were. Probably forgot to breathe or something like that. I don't like that dark passage, not one bit. Well, if anything happens, we can run up the stairs. Only one way to go for now. Please let it just be the end of the game. Please, for the love of all things good. I'm a bit cautious too right now. And that's exactly why. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Fuck you, Joe. The stairs are blocked off. How the hell did that happen? Hey, you look at him. He's so tall and ugly. Go through that door and keep going. You think I was just gonna stop? Stop arguing and get a move on. He's right behind you. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, shit, he's in the vents. What the hell do we do? What I said to earlier, damn it, keep going. Run, Obama. I am trying to run, damn it. Did you see his mouth? Fucking run, man. Oh, shit, run. oh, shit, get oh, out shit. of there. Oh, shit. Ah! Yeah. Damn it. That went so bad so fast. I knew it. I knew that tall reject from the Muppet Show would strike to, what the hell do we do now? It tells us to get up, so we're gonna get up. Well, that was my turn. Who's up next? I refuse. I'll take over the helm and just get it done then. Now uh, we're just gonna book it. Godspeed, Joe. You got this. Don't fall asleep in the vent. I do not want to be eaten alive again. He knows what to do, Don. Just let him play it out. I didn't want to give you guys any guidance when Huggy was in the vent. It's important to find your own way throughout this. 
so you let us out to dry. And there he is. Does he trail behind the entire way? He chases the entire time. Luckily, I think I remember the route out the tunnels. How the hell can his dangly body even get in here? It makes no sense. Are you really questioning the logic at a time like this? I don't know anymore. All I know is I hate that freakish thing and that Joe Biden needs to keep away from it. How far did you get, Don? Oh, right, you didn't play. Your knees started quivering the second he moved, Don. Don't act like you're hot shit now. Fine, I admit it. I got scared. Who cares anymore? Let's just get the hell out of here. What do you think I'm trying to do, so shut the hell up? Wait, I don't remember this part. What? He's right there. Do something, Joe. Everybody calm down. The door open. We'll get a move on already. He's right behind us. For the last time. That's what he's doing. Well, go faster. I can't, Don. It's pushing me back. You're at the edge, Buckle Joe. Up. Here we go. Faster, damn it. What the hell? Where the hell do we go? Oh, I remember. It's this box. We got to pull this box down and collapse the platform. Then do it. Here he Geronimo. comes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Did we get him? We got him. Let's go. Yeah, suck on that. That's how the Democratic Party does things, Joe. Hell yeah. That overgrown stuffed animal had nothing on you, Joe. Good shit. What can I say? I had to bring it home for the boys. Here, Don, because you didn't play much, you can have the ending. Gimme. How the hell does that make sense? Trust me, Barack, there's a specific reason. I'm not happy that you and I did all the work to get here, and oh. he gets to reap the benefit. It's like the Victorian era vomited all over here. Who the hell is this hallway for? Um, you hear that? Yes, Obama. Yes, I do, and I'm not happy about it. It's like we're in The Shining or something. Is this what the decorations looked like back in your days, Joe? Again, we are similar in age, very similar. You have no right to make these age jokes. Joe, you said during your own campaign to vote for me? What the hell are you even on about anymore? I won't lie. That was not the best look, Joe. Yeah, a big part of me does not like this. Wait, how the hell does this even have power? You asked that already. Just go with it, Donald. I'm not a fan of this, but here goes nothing. Poppy, you bitch. Wow. I think you can guess what you have to do, Don. As a matter of fact, I do. This was not what I meant, but to each their own. What the hell are you doing, Donald? Creating an obstacle course. That way, when she chases after us, we'll be in the clear. I don't think that's how that works, but anyways, now it's time for the big reveal. Let me just go as far as possible before I open this damn thing. Oh, oh, the lights! I can't see anything. Something tells me that obstacle course doesn't matter. And Donald's dead. It was nice knowing you guys. Wait, that's the end? No way. That's really the end of the chapter? That's the end, all right. From start to finish, we certainly went on an adventure like no other. What the hell? There's so many unanswered questions. What the hell happened to the workers? Why is the factory so damn big? What the, the hell is going on? I guess we'll just have to wait until next chapter. Damn it. Does that mean we have to go back to Fenayev? You guessed it. I should have just died when I had the chance. Well, if it isn't our favorite factory. You mean the heartbeat of hospital trips and hauntings? We're going to be playing the second chapter of Poppy Playtime, but be cautious going into this. This chapter is nowhere near as short as the other one. Get your soda cans and Doritos bags ready because we're here for the long haul. Really? I was just thinking of going in there raw without a condom and everything. That's probably how you ended up with five kids, Don. Whose arm got stuck in a rolling pin? Flying a web. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while you search for any way to escape the factory. Can't wait to sprint around the factory again like it's Temple Run. Get your joggers on because you're here for a marathon. How long is this chapter, Joe? About two hours, give or take. What? Jeez, I guess you weren't lying. That's like a congressional hearing or two. What the hell happens during this chapter? A congressional meeting or two mixed with a little bit of weird creatures and creepy crawlies. Ah, so just a normal hearing then. Well, this is certainly welcoming. I feel at home already. Reminds me of the ring tapes. Uh, oh, they just jumped right into it. I'm not buying your crappy toy plate. Wait, how did they get her to stretch like that? What, why are you asking? I need that toy. Yeah, I need to buy that toy. Uh, wow, I just became so uncomfortable. Anyways, this screams like a boomerang commercial. What the hell was that? What was what? Did you not just hear a wisp? Why is she in the back rooms now? Uh, this is cut like a Mr. Beast video. That staring is just uncanny at this point. Oh, okay, now I hear it. Yeah, see, I told you about, uh, uh... Well, something's going down. Yeah, you think? Mm. Looks like someone hijacked the tape. Obama, I see eyes. What? Eyes, I see eyes, they're staring at me. Oh, I see them. What do the eyes look like? I think it's Poppy. Great, we woke the witch from her sleep and she's castrating us because of it. 
Oh boy. Hello, you circus clown. Oh, I did not expect her to talk there. And now we have the title card. Hell of a way to kick things off. Is this the aftermath of opening that cabinet? Didn't know we were in Oklahoma. As a quick refresh, we explored the factory after getting a weird tape. And after being chased by Huggy Wuggy, we ended up in the depths of the factory where we freed Poppy. You just described the plot to an episode of The Twilight Zone. So when does Rod Serling come out? And where the hell do we even go? There's literally a door right in front of you. Well, it's not opening. Yeah, it won't budge. What do you mean? You didn't even open it. Well, thanks, Captain Obvious. That's why I said, it's not opening. I meant you didn't even click the button to open it. Yes, I did. I clicked the thing. No, you didn't. What's the thing? Yeah, I did. Do you not hear me clicking it? You're clicking the mouse. You have to click the E key to open doors. Oh. And you end up looking like a douchebag once again. It's been a while since I played. I simply forgot. And I'm the one with dementia. I guess we have to go through this red door. If it wasn't locked, I'd think so. Other areas are blocked, so there's only one way to go. Wait, if Poppy's area is supposed to be like a sanctuary, why did they have a random door into this place? Are you really asking that after being chased by a 20-foot-tall Build-A-Bear? Or other toys that are alive. I'm gonna throw out a hot take here. Poppy, is that you? Definitely her. Is she in a cauldron or something? Why is she echoing so loud? Better yet, why the hell did we even free her? I didn't even tell you what to do there, Don. Nice job. Our whole point was to find out what happened to the staff. Even better yet, we were an ex-employee. How do we not know of all these shenanigans that we're caught in right now? Maybe that's why he was so confident going into the factory. He may actually know. <laughs> I want to punch you for that laugh. Is that what he sounds like? I could imagine seeing him in a room and just winding up a fat one to deliver to his teeth. You're hurting your hands more than you are his teeth. Remember, he has razor blades lodged in his entire mouth. All right, in an all-out fight to the death, who do you have winning? Me or Huggy Wuggy? Huggy Wuggy. And why do you say that? That thing walks around like a skinwalker. You cannot tell me he's not packing a serious haymaker. Maybe not with those arms, but it's as tall as daylights. Sincerely, do you really think you would fight that successfully? One roll into his legs and that'll take him out. Yeah, not like he was somersaulting towards us at breakneck speeds last chapter. Donald, if you roll into him, you're not getting back up. Is that another weight joke, you sleepy troglodyte? Well, now it is. But I was saying that because Huggy Wuggy would just pick you up and crush your skull. Oh, do we need this key? Yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. You kind of just sat outside the room playing with yourself for who knows how long. It was for quite some time. A concerning amount of time, regardless of specifics. I, I was just exploring the labors of my youth. Isn't that what this factory is all about? Pandering to children at... Hey, Joe. Is this another kid joke? Well, now it is, but I was just making sure we take this back to the red door. And we're in. For being abandoned, I was expecting there to be a lot more dust on everything, like coatings of it. It is a bit off. The furniture is older, but the drawings look like they were recently put up. We got another tape here. Time to see what's haunting us on this side of the hill. It can only be positive, I think. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Why is his face blurred out? Yeah, I'm not really liking that. Something seems uncanny about it, but like we're dealing with another purple guy or something. It's the analog horror type of feel. They adapted some of it to this chapter, if you haven't noticed. Who the hell cares? Be a man and push through it. It all began in the fateful year of 19... And it just ends? If this was real life, I'm whipping a fat piss all over that tape that... And the office, for that matter. With the handprints, I, I assume we go through here. Yeah, you just have to use both hands to open the hatch. What? Joe, are you blind? Only one latched on. The other hand isn't doing Jack Diddley squat. Well, because you, you have to connect them both at the top and then go all the way back. Well, that didn't work either. Yeah, because you didn't use both hands. Obama, you mongoloid. I just told you I can't use both hands. Do you want me to plant the other one firmly inside me or something? Don't be a jerk. I'm just trying to help here. Maybe you don't need both hands, but I know you need to go all the way back. How heavy is this damn vent? That's surprising that Joe was right for once. For once? What's with all the human-sized vents in this place? If you throw a drunk toddler down here, he'd probably think it's a water slide. I can't even count the things that were wrong with what you just said, but there has to be some Geneva Convention violations in there. Well, excuse me for thinking outside the... Bah. Oh, uh, sorry. What the hell are you doing here? I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back 
Archon. Here. Yeah, so this is Poppy. Yeah, I figured that one out, Joe. So are we just gonna turn the power back on? Listen here, you whitewashed circus clown. What? If I see you try to pull any kind of magic tricks from the corner of your hat, I'm squashing you like a bug and punting your robotic corpse back to the carnival. Oh, her eyes follow us too. That's creepy. Don, are you stupid? Yeah. She was locked in a maximum security container, and as soon as she was released, all hell broke loose. Calling it a maximum security container is laughable, Joe. What, I mean, she was stuck in a damn cheese it box. Point is, we're potentially dealing with a psychokinetic doll with the capability of controlling dark arts. How on earth do you expect to even lay a finger on her? I'll just call CPS. They hurt more children than they help. Child Protective Services? Exactly. Damn, that might actually work. That's right. It, yeah, clap for me. I deserve it after all. It was a toddler puzzle. Calm down. Damn right I freed you. That's what happens in Donald Trump's America. We get things done. A train station? In the factory? Like I said, it's a pretty big factory. Pretty big? It sounds like the South Sector is half of Wakanda. Hey, I'm up here. I see you. Oh yeah, she's gonna kill us. She said something about leaving. What about finding the staff? Who cares? I'm not following her to figure it out. She can keep that stuff to herself. Don't be stupid. Challenge impossible. Well, here she is. You're telling me I can't punt her right now? Yeah, that'll go well. What's the worst that could happen? Just slap her off the edge of her. I mean, you got what you wanted. Be careful what you wish for. Uh, uh, yeah. Look at it this way, you sent her off with a high five. Uh, at, that's leaving on good terms in some countries. I don't care about Poppy. But that arm, that very big arm, do we have to go down there? You can see all the other exits are sealed off. Go through the process of elimination here and you're only left with one option. Great, jumping straight into the great pit of Carcoon over here. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, we're just actually dying now. No, I think we just landed in something. Yeah, hell, we just landed in hell. Maybe for you, but I still hear something. I think we're going down a slide. You're right, Barack. Is this place really like a giant jungle gym? It's like Little Big Planet mixed with Sesame Street. Giant slides, a whole train station, and robotic demons. Might as well just have Kim drop a nuke on us already. I keep harping on this, but seriously, why is this factory the size of Atlantis? What the hell? Oh, that's not good. Oh, what the hell is happening? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, we're not squashing that anytime soon. Well, we found out where Poppy went. A damn Dark Soul spider took her. I haven't said this at all, but what the hell is going on, Joe? I think you can very well see the situation right now. From what I'm getting at, she wants us to play games or something. Great. And I don't think a call to pest control is going to get us out of this one. But yeah, you were right. We have to play games, Brock. Yeah, I figured. Can't I get a flamethrower and just torch this place ablaze? I... Hey, Obama. What? Remember that toy from earlier? Yeah, I'll be right back. Death, just take me already. Well, nowhere to go but forward. Is Don still gone? He said he'd be right back after seeing Mommy Longlegs. I wonder where he is. Actually, I'm not letting curiosity get the best of me. I'll just take over right now until he returns. Who are you talking about returning? Speak of the devil, where have you been all this time? I had some private business matters to attend to. Yeah, you know what? I'm really not that curious. Okay, fun and games are over. Joe, give me the keyboard. Obama, suit up. We're here to exterminate a damn spider. So this is the game station? Is Poseidon funding this? Why is half of Atlantis down here? I guess the company thought it was a good idea to add this miniature amusement park. Oh my goodness, we're on a playground. Joe's natural habitat. And there's his signature line once again. You spanked your willy to a pink spider. I don't want to hear it. I did not, you old bag of crap. Like I said, I was attending to urgent business matters. Like what? That's classified information, Obama, and I wouldn't want to hand out my company secrets to the likes of you. I can't tell if that screams security or insecurity. 
Now pull that lever. What, this one? Yeah, you got it. There's a whole stereo system in this abandoned place. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. These little tests there show is a confusing amount of stuff that works around here. Follow Mommy Long Legs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing musical memory. See you in a bit. We're supposed to tail behind that cosplaying tarantula. Well, remember, this was an instruction auditory recorded when this place was active. So we still have to go down there, but we don't have to necessarily follow her. There must have been a lot going on in this place. It's like Disney World merged with the Rockefellers. So just Disney World. What's going on here? A Russian wedding, Don. We're in a factory. The hell do you think this is? I'm thinking this is couples counseling the way you're screaming at me. Also, I got this tape. Where does it go? There should be a VCR somewhere. Oh, like right in front of me. It looks like another instructional video for a green hand this time. Are we collecting the whole Skittles rainbow with these hands? Since I know you won't pick this up from the tape, that green hand acts like a power cell. It can capture electricity from open circuit ports. And then you can power things like doors in that matter. However, the electric only lasts for 10 seconds in the hand or in another circuit port. I'm not getting paid anywhere near my minimum fee to act as an electrician. You're not getting paid at all. My entire point. I don't know why, but this music reminds me of those songs you post. What songs? Like when you share the music you listen to. That guy's an idiot for getting crushed. Why did you just stand there? You mean my Spotify wrapped, Joe? Yeah, that thing. Obama, you have to talk to him like a dentist talks to kids. Keep up with the smack talk and I'm gonna treat you like a guard treats a prisoner. Is that an innuendo? Well, Spotify will track how many times you listen to a certain song or songs, um, along with a bunch of other statistics. Then at the end of the year, they deliver that information to you in a bundled gift sort of way. Is that what you're talking about? Just to clarify for the audience, this video is not sponsored by Spotify. I wish we were, but yeah, it's not. Well, we got a problem, so before you two get sucked back into the conversation, help me out here. It's fairly obvious what you need to do, Donald. And uh, yes, Barack, I think that's what I'm talking about. That's just a fun way to give back to the people who give to me. Like an update to my life. Not everything has to be suits and business. Hey, yeah, everybody would love to know what Kendrick Lamar song you're listening to instead of the sanctions that you put on Iran. Just like how everybody wants to know what Elton John's song you're listening to instead of that call to Zelensky. I'll just keep my music taste to myself. We got a whole row of these hands this time. So hit the green light and then transport it to another port. Got it, that seems simple enough. And just like butter, we go and slip through. Something tells me that we'll be seeing a lot of this coming up. How did you know? Speaking of Dennis, is Spider-Woman also a pediatrician? This is like a doctor's dream. This is a certainly interesting room to be in a factory for kids. You're telling me it's like just... Oh, this doesn't look good. What game are we playing again? I think this one is musical memory. Well, you have the thoughts of a fish, so it's a good thing I'm playing. Welcome to musical memory. I don't want to play this. That was quick. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. They had kids playing this? Apparently, and it must have done A pretty well. Of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact yeah, even if I wanted to play this game, I'm thinking I would have just held you guys back. Bunzo? Will Bunzo? Who the hell is Bunzo? Oh, that's Bunzo. What the hell is going on with him? He's attached to a lowering rope. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. Oh no. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. Yeah, because we die. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. This will certainly be a test to your memory. Good luck. You just sent us off to a quiz battle of doom. How is this any sorts of luck right now? I mean, it could be worse, Donald. Just remember that. Oh, isn't it oh, crap. What were you saying, Obama? Shut it, Don. Oh, he's lowering. That is one waskily wabbit. We got a Springtrap fanboy over here. Let me just say, I'm not impressed. He seems ready. How about you go clang yourself a new paint job, you furry fleshlight? Get ready, Don. It's coming in hot. Got it? Ready. 
Red. Simple enough. Red, blue. Red, blue. Yeah, this is easy. Donald, stay focused. Oh, my bad, Joe. I was just staring at that life-size Muppet. You got it so far. Red, blue, yellow, blue. This thing is going surprisingly slow. I expected a quick and rapid pace from this thing. Again, stay focused. I'm telling you, it will pick up the pace. And just like that. Wait, did we complete it already? Not from the sound of that. Blue. Blue. I think it's getting a tad bit faster. Joe said that it would pick up the pace a lot, so just stay on top of everything. A lot is an understatement. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'll let the capable Donald be in for a surprise. However, it will pack a punch. It's just too easy, Joe. It may have been difficult for you, but never underestimate Donald J. Trump. Violet. Violet? So much for being capable. Look around for a new color, Don. Got it. That was a crazy flick. What the hell? You should just prepare for new colors, Don. I knew it wasn't going to be this easy. And here we go. There's going to be a lot of new things popping up, aren't there? Pretty much. Don's in for a real treat. Thanks for the words of encouragement, Joe. Fortunately, it's not that hard just yet. Yeah, you're really lucking out with these colors right now. When I played that, there were hardly any colors in a row with their patterns. Yeah, I'm just getting the basic Starburst flavors. I, I'm not complaining, though. This is where all hell breaks loose, isn't it? Even then, you still have a basic roster of patterns right now. And you passed another round, too. Are you sure this gets more difficult? A letter? Irony has a funny way of talking to you, Don. Yeah, both of you, shut the hell up. I need to focus right now. I wasn't even saying anything. There's a pie now. What happened to the easy part? Okay, we still got it locked down. You're almost there. Too easy. What the hell? Is it still too easy, Don? Are you out of your damn rocker? What is this spider thing doing? I'm at a loss of words right now. Yeah, we're screwed. Donald, look for a moving hazard sign. Is this it? Wait, what happened? Did that break it? Emergency exit sure does wonders. Oh, it broke. That's no fun. Yeah, take that, you fat oaf. For doing such a splendid job, Mommy has decided to give you part of the code for the train. Part? No, give me all of it before I break your hands like a popsicle stick. I don't think you can break rubber. Don has literally told people to drink Windex. Logic isn't there with him. I was hoping the game could last a little longer. It's okay, though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. Now that's something I can get down to. Please shut the hell up. So, what does she mean by other ways to play with me? I was really enjoying the silence. I wonder what else stretches on that thing. Don Shut the hell up! I couldn't have said it better myself. So guys, how about that 2024 election? What about it? Well, what's your guys' approach? Uh, just ads, I suppose? Pretty much the same thing every election. Well, yeah, but aren't you guys locked into each other? I mean, both of you have had a term under your belt. Now it's like the best two out of three. I mean, it is what it is. Win or lose, I don't particularly care that much. I would just go back to Florida anyways. Not like the whole thing really matters. What? What's the matter with you guys? You literally hate each other. Joe, why are you agreeing with Donald of all people? We eat, sleep, and breathe nothing but political syntax all day long. It's become our bread and butter at this point. It's practically a second oxygen, but it gets annoying after a while. I mean, it's cool that some middle-aged single mother wants her taxes to be lower, but I don't really care. Is this why that poll for you guys was horrible? Over half of your voters would consider a third-party option. What have you two buffoons done to this country and its citizens? Well, Donald ignored it. And Joe snored on it. And that's been the past eight years. I'm telling Donna to contact the electoral board. Well, here goes the second poll. What else does Ms. Stefana have to say? It's Stella.
Where the hell did you get Stefana from? Whoa, you did fantastic. Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> I'm a grown man, Stefana. I don't need permission. Stella, not Stefana. Wacka wuggy Now tell me that doesn't sound a bit promiscuous. I think you're just overreading it. Donald, if you don't get your mind salvaged from the gutter, we're going to have some serious problems. As if he doesn't have serious problems already. Oh, what is this, a dungeon of holes? Uh, they're probably a bit too big to pull your dick. And you tell me to keep my mind out of the gutter. And here we go. Welcome to Wacka wuggy We have to be on our toes for this. this. Advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. Okay. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to Now that I think of it, this might be more difficult than I thought. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable huggy wuggy toy. Adorable? That's their definition of adorable? Adorable is a choice word sometimes. I've seen piranhas more adorable than that. That's not a piranha? Maybe it is kind of hard to tell with the claymation. Good luck. I forget the exact time that you have to last with this game, but I do know it can be quite long in the moment. The toys in this and there she is. Used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Let me guess, you removed them? Hmm. Have fun. That wasn't cryptic. Good luck, Don. Won't need it. Where are they? I think he needs that luck, Joe. Look around. Oh, really? I didn't get the memo. I thought I had to just play with my nipples. I wouldn't put it past you. Sounds like there's a lot of them. This is just the start. Yeah, it's really like they're coming out of the woodwork for this one. Are you good, Don? No, it's like the paparazzi all over again. You deck the living flesh out of the press? I don't, but my security guards do. What company do you use for your guards? They're called... Ah! Damn it! There were so many of them. It was like watching after a field of mindless zombies while they all try to rob me of my life. I think you just described Detroit. Are we swinging around the turntable again? Obama goes next? Yeah, try to get past this minigame. And if you can't, I'll get past it. Yeah, I can see where it gets somewhat difficult. I know, it's like trying to herd three-legged cows. Oddly specific, Don. But try to organize how you check the holes, Barack. I'm trying. It's a bit difficult considering I hear the sounds at different angles. But I am trying. Watch out for the corners. The light was damn near blinding me, and it was almost impossible to see when those little gremlins were there. Noted. A lot harder than it looks, huh? It's like I'm in the center of a vent. Am I in FNAF 2 again? Yeah, welcome to my life of lawsuits. Ah! You might need to check your pants after that one. Joe might be able to lend you a diaper even. Fetish for a spider detected, opinion rejected. Joe, stop sleeping already. Obama's wife is literally a tarantula. What the hell did I do? A promise is a promise. I'll wrap this up for you guys. Obama were getting embarrassed by the wise old elder again. Eh, let Joe have something for once. I would if he didn't have the reaction of a pregnant mule. Don't make me say the spider line again. I'll be surprised if you make it past 20 seconds. There we go. Oh, you did it. You sure sound excited. That fake emotion reminds me of Jill. Criticize your own wife once in a while. Wives. I did. That's why one's dead and the other's locked in an insane asylum. I can't imagine being around you keeps many people sane. Only one game left to play. Sad. Boo hoo! Get over it, you eight legged hobag. Shut up already. Love-hate relationship with your fourth wife, huh? This is his fifth. Toy Chica is his fourth. I say one thing about a robot having curves, and I'm painted as a pervert. You crooks just can't let someone live. Total losers. That's a lot of words for saying you like animatronic crotch. Once I get up here, I want you to take control again, Barack. Why is that? You'll see. Uh... You're lying, right? Joe? This thing's back? How? Backing away from that. What the? It's pink. Oh, it's a girl Huggy Wuggy. These woke devs made Huggy have a sex change. What is this world coming to? That's a bigger stretch than your truth about drinking bleach. If it's going to open that, I'm ready to scram. How many abominations of this thing are they willing to make? Whenever there's a successful toy, why not copy and paste? 
Is it walking away? Great way to give a heart attack. Pink Floyd gives us the tourist view and then just backs away into the shadows. So she's not chasing, right? Does it look like it? Really, Joe? Don't you have a diaper to change? Really, Barack? Aren't you old enough to change your own? When the hell did you two get so hostile? Say, Donald, what's with Kanye West? What about him? Why is he so loopy? That's one way to put it. I've said this before, but he's a seriously troubled man. When I was in office, he was a bit more collected. A total inspiration in transformative music, but the problem with Kanye, and it's only evolved now, horribly so, is the fact that to this day, he stays a subject to his thoughts. You mean his insanity? They're the same, if I'm being honest. Kanye is like a fortune cookie. You can never guess what lunacy he'll partake in. You guys remember when he showed the whole world his phone password, live cameras reporting from the Oval Office had to be dozens. And after I complimented his pleasurable demeanor, he whips out his phone and just types out his password. Can you imagine the data leaks? How does a sane man do that? It's surreal seeing someone at the other end of the dark hall of delusion. Well, he, he was aware of his condition back in 2018, and I could at least witness his efforts to take charge of his mental state. If there was any time for him to run for presidency, it would have been the 2020 primary. Now he's just a ghost of a man trying to find where his spirit went. Didn't you throw the idea that he was to be your running mate? No, he proposed that I be his running mate for 2024. A total bust from the start. He'd drop from the race in the first week. I think he'd drop out in the first hour, uh, let alone the first week. Well, in his own words, I guess we'll never know. I wonder what Stella's gonna say this time. Probably throwing us to the wolves again. That doesn't sound good. We've only played a roulette wheel of death games. What do you mean it can't be good? You had a fun day at the game station. See you next time. Lucky for us, we won't be showing up next time. Considering I got plowed in the face by a mini Huggy Wuggy, I hope that we weren't gonna come back. It didn't make you any uglier than you already are, Don. Oh, what the hell? What Sky's own dungeon is this? Reminds me of a nursery. Can't wait to get plowed in this one. I don't like how comfortable you are about getting rammed. To test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, this reminds me of Squid Games. How the hell does that remind you of Squid Games? You remember Squid Games? Yeah, I'm talking about the game where you had to stop and go. I forget which game that was called, but I know it was everywhere. What the hell is that? Oh, oh, what the hell? What in the butt ugly is that? A caterpillar. Who crashed their car into his face? His eyes should not be that close to his mouth. For the safety of everyone involved, I think it's best to just stand over here. Yeah, get as far away from that thing as possible. What the? Hear me out, guys. Rock, just focus as much as you can. Move when the lights are off. Got it. I don't want that caterpillar crawling up my... As still as a statue. And then we move on. Remember, the goal is to get as far as possible. I do not. Like how you can hear its many legs just creeping through the maze with you. Well, what's going on here? It's harder to move with these cubes. Why can't you just stomp on the damn thing? I don't think that'll work when he's as long as a freight train. Oh, it's like I can feel him crawling all over my skin. Uh, how long is this maze, Joe? If I'm being really honest here, Brock, you still got a good chunk left of it to go. Do you want me to start writing his obituary now or later? I'm surprised you didn't get turned on by this thing, Don. You do have a thing for bugs, I guess. Yeah, we can start the funeral process now if you guys want. Donald, you can't hurt a fly. Pfft, I see what you did there. 
die already. All jokes aside, I'm feeling a bit too claustrophobic in this tunnel. You picked the easy tunnel at least. It's the most direct path to get to the other side. This feels like a Steven Spielberg movie, all drawn out to high hell. We've been doing this for about a minute, Don. I don't know what else you want me to say. It's only been a minute. Well, bloody hell, why does this feel like all eternity? Donald, you have not touched this mouse since last minigame, and your hand has been so far down your butt crack, it's like you're digging for gold. What does that have to do with anything? It itches down there. Isn't a man allowed to scratch as he pleases? For the better sake of my health, I'm just going to ignore that and say that an important part is coming up, Barack. Wait, what? You see that yellow bar? You need to grab it, yeah. but you might have to get a bit closer. Wait, what the hell is this giant piss cube doing here? I'm hopping for dear life right now. I just want to get out of here. You should be able to do it now. Yeah, do it now because that thing is flooding to us like clockwork. I'm trying. If I could move in this damn place. I latched on. Now what? Keep pulling and don't let go. We're in. Damn, you busted the top off. Now what? Try to find a hole and jump down it. Found it. Oh, we're dead. Not yet, anyways. Time to get moving. Where did you go? Away from you. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that offer. Well, she sounds like one of my ex-wives. You were right not to go back. I'm also getting Donna vibes from her, too. Will you cut that out? You were saying? Okay, maybe a little bit like Donna. Boy, she sounds like someone having a bad hair day. You've had a few of those, eh, Don? Obama, you are not a man to be talking on behalf of my looks. How do you look 20 and 60 in every single photo ever? What does that even mean? Like every picture I see of you, it's like you're timelessly old. Joe looks like some fresh roadkill, but Obama just looks old. Says the man who looks like a rhino bathed in Frank's Red Hot. Frank's Red Hot also runs the spicy sauce kingdom, so thanks for the compliment. That's why I'm more of a Tabasco man myself. Well, yeah, the recipe was developed around the Civil War. You probably used that as pre-workout before you went into battle. How was Ford's theater when you saw the play? Screw that, how was Lincoln? I see him on the penny everywhere. I'm trying to be like him. I thought you were done with age jokes. Oh yeah, my bad. That was my last one, I swear. Anyways, you already have a coin with your fat face on it, and I'm almost certain that it's pretty worthless in value. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Um, actually, those coins market for thousands, but I'm referring to official U.S. currency. That would be more accustomed to my liking. What bill would you even put your face on? Put me on the Bill of Rights. That's how you make it a Bill of Wrongs. I have yet to see a bathroom in this place. No wonder it looks like shit around here. Speaking of, when you were in that minimum security prison for a day or so, how was the bathroom situation there? Surprisingly, it wasn't that bad. It would have been a lot worse if I was sharing a room. I would have found wedges of pubic fungus stuck in the toilet bowl. I assumed they would give you a private room. It was the least my lawyers could bid. Hell, the best thing they could do is drop the charges on the worst incrimination tactics in American history. But we know how much of a joke the courtroom is. I thought the hearing wasn't until next year. It was, but to discuss the next steps in the trial, they agreed it would be best to move me to a temporary holding cell. So wait, was it like a normal bathroom then? Uh, like a hotel bathroom, except instead of nice towels, they were a bit crusty and hard because the washing machine at that place didn't really work right. Uh, at least it dried you off. No help from you. And at least you didn't have to share a public restroom. Oh, if that was the case, I would just be loading up the RV and crashing into D.C. myself. Heaven forbid that you have to be in the sight of the commoner. Donald, if you were in a public restroom, I can totally see you squatting over the toilet instead of sitting on the seat. And you would be very well correct. Do you realize just how disgusting the average citizen is? They're like a humid hotspot for disease, a living, breathing Petri dish of bacteria all ready to infest over my luscious body. Petri? Luscious? That sentence alone should get you five more years added to your prison time. More like 50. This is one hell of a backroom level to be stuck in right now. 
I'm just waiting for her to pop out at any moment. Ah! You summoned her. I asked you to play fair, and you... I didn't mean to. Great cheaters. Now, we're going to play one last game. Please, no. Run, run, or get the hell out of there. No, I was just gonna stand there and poop on the floor. Stop yelling and start moving. I am, Joe. Run! Will you stop it already? Thank you. Well, on that note, did anybody else feel a weird tingle when Mommy Long Legs was yelling? Stop, just stop. Am I just supposed to pull these down? There is method to the madness here. You just have to think about it. This is like being stuck in the banana split set. Why is this taking so long? When I said this was going to take an hour, I was speaking in a literal sense. You have done literally nothing. Why are you complaining? Is jail really calling your name that badly? I don't know if you mongoloids understand English, but I've said before that I'm very busy with business. But you had enough time to look lustfully at a spider? That's fake news and you know it. I think this is what the younger generation refers to as coping. The best case scenario here is that the exit is hopefully around the corner. Oh, shit! Better start running. Get out of there. Damn it, Donald. Why did you have to say something? I was just being hopeful. I didn't know this would happen. It's so loud. She's right behind us. I know, damn it. Why can't I go through? Go! I can't. What? How? It's blocked. She's coming. We're dead. Stay back, damn it. Uh... Yeah, get out of here. What? What is she doing? It... Just stay calm. How did you guys live that? I don't know. Are we good? I think so. Wow, never seen that before. Joe, you absolute cartridge of AIDS. How do we get out? You have to explore and find out for yourself. What a help the Warlock of Lore is today. And we're back to puzzles just like that. Off topic, but I cannot believe people find feet attractive. W what the hell have you been thinking about? Feet at best. No, like, how do people get off on their toes and all of that? It's so unkept and disgusting down there. Plus, it's just outright lunacy to ding your dong like a doorbell over something so awful looking. Speak for yourself. My feet look perfectly normal. Perfectly normal? Crustaceans could flock to your feet like geese, and you still probably haven't washed them recently. Okay, Shrek feet, you're really serving them on that one. And at those Shrek feet lays the cycle of my success, my bread and butter like appearing as Time's Man of the Year. That's not even an accomplishment. We've all been there. You're also comparing yourself to the likes of Hitler and Stalin because they've been on there too. And here comes the history lesson. Respect your elders, Don. It's hard when he's as old as... You know what? I said I wouldn't make any more age jokes and I'm a man of my word. Thank you, man. Now, back to the topic. Time Magazine is far from my greatest accomplishment, considerably near the bottom of a very long list of amazing things I've done. That was my point. What you guys have considered as legacy building doesn't even scratch the surface of my resume. Boasting about how you're more successful at operations than that of Soviet leaders isn't necessarily a green flag. Especially when you're friends with three of them. They're all problematic, but the Chinese dictator is the guy we really have to look out for. You want to know something funny about him? His wife told me he has a micro penis. Uh, uh, what? So do you think about what you say at all, or is it just like a laser blast of gross information? And she's back for more. Stay back, Mommy. You hurt me too much. What are you even saying? I don't know. Just run, damn it. It's blocked off. Move to the side. Why is everything collapsing? She sounds demonic. Are we in hell? I wouldn't doubt it. Turn around, Barack. Listen, Joe, I'm just keeping it moving. Now get ready to turn. Turning now. Was that her hand? No, it was her massive clitoris. Stop being dumb. You're almost out of here, Barack. Her hands. Her hands are everywhere. Ah! They're trying to grab my boobs. What the hell are you talking about? She's right there. Keep running. Shut up already. Jump. I'm jumping. Does this thing ever let up? Let us catch a breather. You haven't been doing anything but being a horny old man, Donald. I don't want to hear it. What do we do now? Pull the lever. I'm pulling as fast as I can, Joe. Hurry up. She's going to kill us. I'm waiting for the door. Shut the hell up. The music faded. Are we good? I hope so. This is a long scan. Oh, wait, bud. What? 
Keep scanning, Barack. She's coming in hot, Joe. Tell the scan to hurry the hell up. Listen, there will be a lever inside that you need to pull. Do it immediately. It's opening! Pull the lever! She's here. Oh. What's happening? I said pull the lever for a reason. It was a trap. Well, look who's screaming now. What have you done? This is your fault. The itsy bitsy spider got crushed. How fitting. Look who's laughing now. Oh, what the? Uh. We're just not going to say anything. I don't know what to say. Maybe it's better off that way. Not everything warrants a reaction. Yeah, they might as well throw the Transformers into here. It's not like we had other things keeping us busy. Well, look who I found. She looked like a dumb fruit fly. You could have done more to fight back, Poppy. Did you kill her? She seemed pretty dead to me. Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave. We came here to find coworkers, and now we're walking around with a talking doll. Pretty normal day in the Conjuring universe, it seems. And just like that, we're up and running. I think I've had more fun sitting in a Burger King drive through than playing this game. Can it be over now? It's almost done. We only have one more thing to do. I was so scared she'd put me back in that case. But you saved me. I don't like the sound of this. Perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. Well, you called it. Poppy, are you serious? I should throw you into a Buzz Lightyear canister, you want to be Annabelle doll. <laughs> Great, a villain monologue. Well, too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you're capable. We will. What is... I'm going to be honest. I tuned out like half of that. You didn't miss much. Just something about conquering the world. You better hope that you didn't miss anything important. She was as unique as a SpongeBob fish. I think I'm OK. This train is going pretty damn fast. All inside the set built for a Mr. Bean episode. It is pretty wacky. Uh, why is there a button? We're trying to break the sound barrier. Yeah, I think I'm getting motion sick just watching. Pull the lever already. I'm trying. It's simply not reacting to anything I do. You have to stand back and pull the lever back up near the edge of the train. Got it. Is this almost done yet? You'll see. That's a lot of sparks. Well, if we weren't cooked before, my thighs are probably baking like a pizza from this heat. Uh-oh. Oh, we're dead. Joe blood splattered earlier. Our head is either split like a banana or we ran over some pedestrians on the railway. Knowing you, you'd hope for the latter. Damn right. So did we just completely bite the dust this time or what? That was the most peaceful way to go out in this place. And now we're at the play care? Oh, Jesus, this next part of nursery? I want to pun a normal child to begin with, and now I got to see them in this, too. And then credits. I thought I would never see the day. What did you guys think of chapter two? I have arachnophobia now. You mean arachnosexual? It wouldn't be the worst thing to happen to Don. Listen, whoever inhabited that washing machine clearly didn't know the term restraining order. She learns from her husband, after all. I don't like the way you put that. Of course you wouldn't. He's insulting your wife. Sup, YouTube? What's going on? Barack Obama here, and welcome to Night What? That came in like a firework. And why is the video messed up, too? It's like off to the side. I fixed the scaling. I don't, I don't know how to center it, though. Must be bugged. Gentlemen, welcome to Night Watch. This is a game I played a while back. And considering that we wanted more variety on the channel, this game by Puppet Combo is a great game to start with. It's certainly setting the mood. I'll give it that. Beethoven really pulled out the Adams Family for this masterpiece. It's like if death had a ringtone or something. Huh, looks like the screen centered itself. First night on the job, I have a feeling it's going to be a long one. I just need to stay awake. Seems like that's mission impossible for one of us, not specifying who. So from the appearance of things, we're a park ranger, and we have to watch over the forest or something. You get the overall gist of things. Well, as the world's best security guard, I'm here to fill in the role of guarding the night. 
forest fire inbound. And that's coming from the man who mixed kerosene for scented candles and threw it at the Turks as a welcoming gift. Just focus on the game, Don. What is there to focus on? All I'm doing is surveying the abyss that's going to swallow us whole. My guess is that we have to be stationed up here for the whole night and some spooky things are going to ensue. No kidding, if we got a full moon in the sky, that's when all of the, the weeaboos come out of their hiding places. The what now? You know, weeaboos. The hairy creatures that only come out when there's a full moon. I think you mean werewolves. You're telling me there's a difference? Well, not in the looks department and certainly not in the hygiene area either. So what's the difference then? Huh, you got a point. Hey Don, you see that beam of light? I see it, is someone signaling for aliens or something? Are there crop circles out there too? That was an oddly specific train of thought you just went on. On second glance, it looks like smoke. Looks like a campsite a few miles west. I can see the bonfire from here. So are there campers out in the wild that we have to look out for? Well, if that's the case, they're on their own. I was hired to watch the night, not them. I think a park ranger is getting paid to do more than just count the stars. Not this park ranger. If I'm this low on life to work at this job, then I clearly have no respect for me or anybody else. Remind me to stay away from the pool if you're the lifeguard. I think the pool itself would stay away. Either that or evaporate. Why? Because he's the size of the sun or the color of it. Why not both? This is professional levels of hatred right now. And why is the radio on? Uh-oh. Hello, is anyone there? I'm guessing this is some communication device. Hello? This is some advanced ding-dong ditching. If these people need help, I'm hanging up on them. Somehow that's not the worst thing you've said in the past week. You're on the Parks Department emergency line. Do you have an emergency? If they're calling you, it's their un... Is that breathing? Either that or someone's having a hysterectomy. Never mind. It might be your unlucky day. This isn't funny, and it isn't a game. Unless you have an emergency, please do not use this channel. Just some damn kids and their pranks. Jim, are you thinking with a fist in your mouth? Either a goat just got mutilated or we just got a call from the Redditor hotline. How's this some damn kids? Jim's the textbook definition of an optimist. It's whatever. I'll take the flashlight though. I'm surprised Donald hasn't committed any federal offenses yet. Just give him time. Like you care about the environment at all. That's all I really care about is environmental protection and the procedures that go behind that goal. Where do you get the chutzpah to make that claim? What are you, a Frenchman? Just say balls like the rest of us. Stop riding my prostate, Obama. And if you gave the time of day to climb it, that bill wouldn't have been signed to greenlight hazardous emissions. There goes our glaciers. Donald, you have no room to talk. If you truly cared about the atmosphere and the environment, then you wouldn't have allowed heavy tax cuts for the meat industry. As if I started it. Besides, you know that production of our agriculture is a fundamental necessity for the American people to truly thrive. I'm not targeting the agricultural impact that our farms have. I am specifically mentioning the production of beef and poultry. Not only is it inhumane to the animals that just live to die, but it's damaging our ecosystem the more it continues. If this is a veganism discussion, I'm immediately tuning you out. Veganism is... Not listening. Real mature once again, Don. Stop throwing a tantrum. A cultural shift in environmental growth would certainly prevent further destruction of our planet. You know what, Obama? You've done a great thing. That's a surprising praise. The generator? Right after that scream, too. Shit, is it out of gas? It seems like this is powered by a generator. Anyways, Don, what were you saying about me doing a great thing? Exactly. You've convinced me to DoorDash Texas Roadhouse and a nice sloppy porterhouse. If you were in the mood for some cow, just slice off some of your stomach. You could use the loss. And I can give you the leftovers so you can grow out of the crippled antelope phase that you're in. I legitimately just mentioned climate. How did we spiral to this? We got a letter to read? Open it up. Finally out on your first watch duty. You're gonna love it. Peaceful nights and all the fresh air that you could ever want. This is an easy job, but you still need to stay on top of things. So we knew what we were getting into. Interesting. Make sure you make a round and check for fires every 30 minutes. Oh. So wait, we do have to look for fires? I guess Smokey the Bear is not gonna be happy with us. Nor the federal government. Pissing them off is like a walk in the park for Don. Be aware that you also have a radio tuned to the Emergency Ranger channel. Hikers are directed to use this channel in case of any trouble. It's unlikely, but make sure to keep the radio on. Use the satellite phone in case any emergencies and backup will be on the way. Another ranger will be there to relieve you next week. You can ride back out on his horse. In the meantime, enjoy yourself. You have plenty of supplies. Something's not right. What do you mean? It's just odd that this letter stresses for us to relax. 
but then that stuff on the radio happens and our generator goes out. It feels like we're being set up here, whether it's some vandals that are gonna damage the forest or other, even worse. I don't have a good feeling about it. Glad we're on the same page, but what do we do from here? Remember, the lights are still out. We haven't gone down to fill up the generator. Let's hope we're not gonna get ambushed or something down there. Well, now you just set us up. Why is this watchtower so tall? It would be faster if you didn't move as slow as a Walmart cart. I think I even move faster than that. When you're walking or falling, that is. Sitting at this rate. Well, I'm down here. Is this the generator? I'm assuming so. Just make sure to pour the gas carefully. The generator, it must have run out of gas. Problem solving skills would tell you to go find out where the gas is. There's a shed right next to me, isn't there? At least your observation skills are on point. I've seen one too many movies where we get wrangled in the shed and bagged up like a dead pile of leaves. Do we have a handgun as a park ranger? Depends on what park we're in. We're a park in France. Our flashlight probably dual wields as a surrender flag. Typical Frenchman. Hopefully we're in the best nation in the world. The very best. At least you found the gas can. I'll be the one that picks it up too. Last time you got a hold of gas, you fueled our planes instead of our cars. The hell does that mean? Take it as you will. That sounded like the fattest piss I've ever heard. Shut up. Donald, as a broke man amongst billionaires, what do you think of other rich men? First of all, I'm also a billionaire, very rich and handsome. <laughs> I heard that. Good, I laughed loudly. And that's too broad of a landscape, Obama. You have to be specific, very specific, instead of rich men. Okay, um, Elon Musk. Me and Elon go back, well, way back. He, he's one of the great geniuses of this time, maybe all time. He does well with rockets and Tesla. I know he likes Tesla. And Twitter, great that he owns Twitter, very great. He's a guy standing with freedoms, all freedoms, and change of policy. That's surprising considering you have a rival platform. I do like truth more, and I'm staying on truth. But censorship was plagued on Twitter before, very censored on there. Elon has stopped that, and he does a good job, by the way. What about Mark Zuckerberg? Now, if we're talking about censorship, a lot of censorship, look no further. Zuckerberg is the definition of a fragile man, very fragile and very weird, that has the obsessive need to pander to a specific audience. And you're not saying that because he disagrees with you, right? It's not even that. My own wife disagrees with me over things like protein powder. Not only is censorship a way bigger ordeal, it's also on a grander scale. It's mass manipulation of the people, and Zuckerberg just allowed himself to be a tool to that. Did you snort a loogie or something in the middle of that? What the hell was that grunt? Sometimes a man gets exhausted with doing laborious tasks. By breathing? So who do you think would win in a fight, Elon or Mark? Oh, I don't know. Both are pretty versed with self-defense. Doesn't Zuckerberg know MMA? Not a clue. I wouldn't be surprised if he programmed it into his data set, though, with the way he acts like a cyborg. Well, the reason I ask is because they're supposed to be having a cage match between the two of them. Really now? Rumor has it, from what I heard. Billionaire pitted against billionaire. You can't tell me that won't bring up a spectacle. You've piqued my interest. I might have my financial board contact the event operators to reserve me a front seat. What a stupid thing to waste money on. My money, my problem. Talk to me when your face is carved into Mount Rushmore. And yours is? Give it time. It will be soon enough. Yeah, that'll certainly please the indigenous people. We gave them a whole football team and they weren't satisfied. It's not like we're aiming to be people pleasers here. Well, that was racist, and this will be two adding you up there. How will it be racist to anyone? It'll be racist enough for me. What the hell? What did you do now? I didn't do anything. It just started barking like a rabid dog. You've also been playing this game for the solid side of five minutes. It could just be trying to go emergency mode. Someone's at the door? Who could be at the door? And why is this man so calm about this? What the hell is wrong with you, Jim? Jim is thinking with the empty gas can he left outside. So we're just opening the door? No second thought? I guess so. I swear this is a similar plot to a Jason Voorhees movie. What a buildup. I don't see anything. And that's all there is to it? I'm starting to question the depth perception of Jim over here. Someone get a birdcage because he's going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So have we been making rounds properly? I don't know if this game tracks time or anything like that. That's what we do when we go out on the deck. The rounds is being on the lookout with your binoculars. I'm going down near the shed again. Nothing's happening here. And we still have no clue what that knocking is. Or was. 
As it's a horror game, I recommend staying on guard. Do you know who you're talking to? I'm the world's best security guard in the flesh. Men, women, and children are in awe at my magnificent glory. No, they're, they're looking at you because you had bowel movements in a Wendy's. That wasn't him, Barack. Oh, uh, my bad, Joe. Is this dollar store generator still good? Eh, good enough for me. You should go and check the shed regardless. Never know what's hiding in these sort of games. That's a bit suspicious that you pointed us towards it. I always feel like there's something watching us when we have to do these tasks. Well, we're not dead yet. I thought the feds would be in here having a tea party or something. Is that our opposition, this game? The UK's court of law? I wouldn't doubt it. Also, these controls are so wonky on this damn keyboard. The exit is right ahead of you. Yeah, I don't think I'm blind yet, Joe. Thanks for stating the obvious- ah! Who the hell? And now we're officially dead. Wait, what? It must have been a bad dream. So, no, we're not dead yet. This man is the dumbest person alive. What makes you say that? He has bath salts for brains or something. You're telling me that he's not connecting these dots yet like it's a puzzle? Some people can truly chalk something up as coincidence. He must be one of them. I dozed off. Better check that everything is okay. With Park Ranger Jim over here, Yogi Bear is burnt to a crisp by now. Yeah, it's only raining. You know, science tells you that water puts out fire. You lost him at science, Joe. Now what? Is the apocalypse happening? Considering the rain, it's, uh, it's probably just a severe thunderstorm warning. You would be correct about that, Barack. A flash flood warning, it seems. That's not good for all of the campers out there. I, I think it's common practice for campers to move to higher altitude when there's difficult weather. What would solve this is not camping in the first place. Or just be a responsible park ranger. Okay, that's asking too much. Well, let's do a recap of what's going on here. We're a park ranger in the middle of nowhere that has to watch over this Indiana trailer park of a forest. More or less, you're on the right track. And so far, we've gotten a weird scream. The generator got cut off and we had that freaky dream of death. That's not the most abnormal thing that's happened to me this week. What? Oh, uh, what's that shiny thing in the distance? Seems to me like it's a light glare or something. Wait, is someone watching us? What? That looks like the reflection from binoculars or something. What the hell, you're right. It what the hell is going on out there? Whatever it is, it can't be good. Do you guys think that it has anything to do with that call from earlier? It, it, it has to be. Some do-nothing Democrat is trying to light this place ablaze right under our noses. We're jumping to conclusions right now. Uh, even if it is someone doing that, we really can't do much about it. Imagine walking down there with a rifle in hand, just accusing someone of looking at us. This is America. If I can shoot someone for trying to sell car insurance at my front porch, I can sure as hell shoot someone for looking at me. Now don't refer to me as a scholar, Don, but you should know that you can't do that. Not for long with the way you're running things. You'll have the Second Amendment abolished soon, and our country will end up looking like France. Why France of all places? Even with the situation at its boiling point over there, I feel like China is still way worse. That's not saying much. Oh, great. We have another prank caller. Wait, did that say camper? It did. Hello? Hi, yes, I'm here. Are you a park ranger? Is it possible to ignore these people? These people are calling in for help, and you're out here treating them like spam callers. I wouldn't be surprised if you did that in real life. Come on, Joe. I would be the best emergency operator. The very best. Knowing you, you would probably try to get the world record for how many people you can let die in a day. Hey, I never said what I would be the very best in. Okay, well, I know this probably sounds dumb, like I'm being overly paranoid, but I think there is somebody watching us in the woods by our campsite. A gun solves all of this. Uh, what's your location? Wait, do we know this by heart or do we have a map that we're gonna use? Barack, that's just common sense now. Yeah, that was a Donald sort of question. Okay, I think I saw your campfire. I'm not too far away. I'm about two miles. How many people are you with? There are three of us. We keep hearing things in the woods. I think somebody is there. Probably the federal government telling you hippies to stop living off the land and pay taxes. No, we heard a voice. It sounded like a pig, but not an actual pig, like somebody mimicking a pig. They were mimicking a pig? Boy, they must have been doing a Donald Trump impression. Joe, if I have to stop making age jokes, you have to stop making whatever those jokes are. A fair trade. All of a sudden, comedy is illegal. It sounds like you guys are spooked, but it's highly, highly unlikely anybody is out there. The park is pretty empty this time of year. This just sounds like we're trying to avoid going out and helping the camper. Too bad Jim wants to be an upstanding citizen because we're going out to help them anyways. I see why we're stuck at a job that pays in Taco Bell coupons. You never know, it could actually be something pretty serious. True, they may actually have Taco Bell coupons, which makes the trip worth it.
Imagine being a camper that dies because your park ranger was too interested in some fast food coupons. That just means more Taco Bell for me. Huh, some nice eerie music to go with our walk. Joe, serious question here. What? What in the great state of Arkansas is your son doing? I've been meaning to ask that too. He's acting like he's on a cocaine-driven operation. Who's to say he's not? You say this pretty calmly as if this is just a normal activity in the Biden family. I'm now questioning your methods of raising your kids. You do that regardless. You're disregarding my point. Well, Hunter hasn't really been himself recently. I guess it could just be the growing pains of getting old, but he's been battling with his own mental state for quite some time now. Me and Jill have often encouraged him to get help, and I think he really is trying to be better. Joe, I really try to be a sympathetic person. I know you're going to roll your eyes, but I do try to wear someone else's shoes. Okay. Your son f***ed his niece. That individual statement alone should fully dismiss any empathy that you feel towards him, and you should grab the shotgun. Well... No, we're not condoning this. Your son committed horrible atrocities against humanity. Never heard that one before. I know a father loves his son, but you need to love him like Travis loved Old Yeller. I know it's absolutely revolting and disgusting, but he's my son. That's not something a man can just do. Am I on drugs? Did Hunter slip some booger sugar in my water when I wasn't looking? If you're going to approach a serious topic, treat it with respect. Obama, I know we have our disagreements, but am I honestly the crazy one here? Your argument is entirely valid. Hunter has done some incredibly abominable acts. Joe has also raised the kid since birth, so you have to understand his pain as a parent. Now, can you just leave it alone and get to where we're supposed to be? My point still stands, Joe. I'm not shooting my kid, Don. Yeah, you'll just refuse to talk about his secret daughter and will pay millions to keep his crimes quiet. I can't tell who's worse. You monsters are the monsters in these games. And the rain begins to stop as soon as we're about to get there. Hopefully the pig hasn't eaten them yet. I'm more concerned about the Taco Bell coupons. Why are you so fixated on coupons? Aren't you supposed to be a billionaire? I think you should be asking why Taco Bell. Rich or poor, who doesn't love a good deal? Yeah, buy one bowel movement, get one half off. Wait, do you hear that? Hear what? Shh, listen. Sounds like radio static. What the hell? Looks like a shirt. It is, but what is it doing out here? Obama, I got a bad feeling about this. and It's worse than torn up coupons. Right, how close are we to the campsite? We have to figure out what's going on. We're almost there. Keep going towards that static sound. There's definitely something going on around here. Captain Obvious providing useless aid once again. Looks like we're here. Well, Jim, are any campers here to greet you? We gotta check the tents. Here's to hoping they just fell asleep. Yeah, it's not like you already know what's going to happen or anything. Empty. Yikes, that's not good. Uh-huh, and it's not like they could have gone anywhere around here in the puddled up woods. I doubt they're playing hide and seek. Especially if they ran off without their flashlight. They must have left in a hurry. Either way, I'm not liking this. And here's where the static is coming from. A radio, probably what they used to catch the emergency line. On to the third and final tent. They have to be in this one. That's blood! Something tells me this isn't period cramps. Jim, that's enough. It's time to pack it up and call the cops that we are not equipped for this. Someone's screaming. A little girl. We gotta get to her. Hold on, little girl. We're on our way. The plan went down the drain. We need to get to her now. I'm running as fast as I can, Obama. Jim isn't athletic. Run faster. I'm running. I'm running. Is that her? Wait, stay. What the hell? Did we just die? What the? Where are we? It looks like something. What the hell is going on? Yeah, something tells me that we messed up. Well, Jim, was it worth it going out to find these people? Now we're going to be mincemeat. Where are we at? This is like some crack house shed or something. Oh, we're naked. What the hell did we get ourselves into? That's the least of our problems. We're in a cage with a bunch of corpses next to us. Don't yell at me. Yell at Jim. He's the one that got us into this mess. Damn it, Jim. Why are you so stupid? Who the hell even is that person? Is that the guy stalking us this whole time? At this point, just kill us. Don't try to scream now, we're dead. What do we even do in this situation? What do you mean, Obama? We die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A Bible verse.
So guys, what did you think of Nightwatch? We're not friends anymore, Joe. Ditto. We just started the game and, and we're in the insides of a pregnant woman. I was more so thinking a red sponge. All right, guys, this is Akamanto, who wants to kick things off this time. No explanation this time. Uh, I'd like to know what we're getting into before it starts. Yeah, this game doesn't really underline or emphasize an overall story. You'll find out everything you need to know within the first few moments. Well off first looks, Akamanto must mean childbirth simulator. And with that, I suppose I'll take the helm on this one. You always do, it seems. The rain really sets the mood for our death wish. Oh, we have voice lines. Here, this is your punishment. The hell kind of name is Maiko. Probably like Michael. You're going to go on a little exploration. Are we doing it blindfolded? Why is it nothing but a black screen? We're getting to it, settle down. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay. This is what you get for being close to him. Just what we need, more crazy women. You guys really locked me in here for talking to a guy? You talk to a man, betch. Never say that again, Donald. So what are we doing again? Is this like a factory or something that we're entering? For the most part, it appears we've been forced to enter this place against our will. But no matter where we are, there's only one place to go. Oh, please, not any more robots. If I see another mechanical part, I might just choke on a gear. The more I look around, the more I think this is a school and the main entrance is blocked off. Where the hell are we supposed to go? Inside the building, duh. You know, a assault on a political figure is a high-ranking offense, but I've bent rules before. Nice court evidence you just put out there. Also, I believe I just found another entrance. Good eyes, Brock. Am I the only one that's utterly lost at what we're supposed to be doing? Our only instruction so far is to explore this place. There's a lot of open shelves. You know, this could be a storage room or something. Creepy looking drawing too. And it's written in Chinese. That's Japanese. A missing girl poster. And another one. Well, that certainly doesn't spell bad news. We agreed to enter here, so we pretty much deserve whatever comes to us. I think we are in a school for the most part. We got a recording here. Well, if it isn't the rumored handsome transfer student. So that confirms that we're most likely in a school. The schoolgirl uniform on the NPCs sort of hinted at it. Well, one week in and you're already the talk of the school. So can you tell me what happened to you? Met with silence. That's never good. No, it isn't. Not the most talkative, are you? Well, I knew that. That's what everyone says about you. I will say he seems very pressing. I noticed. He's grilling this kid like baby back ribs. He asked that like two questions. I can probably guess that Kobayashi and his group got to you. So my take on this is that these are just typical high school bullies. You know how high school cliques can be? I've brought a mini tape recorder and if you I was reading that, but I guess it wasn't that important. We got some writing here. Um, graffiti, red paper or blue paper? Well, there's only one paper. Not like we have much of a choice here. Let's see. We got a hole here and it's blocked off. Wow, it's almost like we shouldn't be in here. Well, which paper should we take? Never mind. I guess we can only take the red paper. Joe, out of curiosity, how long is this game? An old key. There's no real estimate to how long this takes. It just depends on how Barack's gonna play it. We only have three inventory slots. Yeah, two for our hands and one for our anal cavity. That's where the key goes. I don't know why you just started talking about anal cavities, but since we're on that topic, did you get cavity search when you went to jail? Not answering that. Uh, a lighter, yes. That's gonna make it a bit easier if it gets darker. Or we can just fin F3 this place to the ground. Yeah, authorities won't have a problem with that. They didn't in fin F3. Uh, are you guys seeing this? Some dark spirit is holding the door? Well then let him hold it. I just don't want to put my back to this thing. Okay, I think we're good. Until Michael Myers tries spooning us with an ax handle. Good thing it's a Wednesday and not a Friday. Speaking of, how was your 4th of July, Joe? Just business as usual, I guess. I see, I see. It must have gotten pretty busy around the White House. You could have lost track of where you were going. Donald, is this about the cocaine? Also, how do you pick up things in this game? Obama? You know me. I'm not one for political talk during our off hours. Don. Okay, maybe a little birdie told me something. How the hell do you pick stuff up? You left click your mouse. Oh, um, thanks, Joe. Obama here with the survival instinct of a fruit fly. I'm not familiar with any of the substances that were present in that area. I understand that my frequent visits around that area is a cause of concern, and I sympathize with the caution of our citizens. However, I assure everyone under oath 
that I have not made contact with any substances that could endanger the people of the United States. We're not at a press speech, Joe. Stop talking like Terminator and be honest. Listen, man, I don't know if Hunter got too loose with the strippers, but I swear it wasn't me. I, I do believe that. I think salt would take you out, let alone crack. A Dasani water would take him out, let alone salt. Seems like our exploration has taken us to this vent. There's not really much going on in this game so far. Did you pick another game that you could snooze through, Joe? Now that you've said that, watch something like Toy Chica come crawling through here and devour us all. Little did you know that was Donald's plan all along. I said one thing uh, about a sexualized bird and I get flack for months to come. Are you two ever gonna drop it? Yeah, I guess we'll stop. Really? No. Only way to go is down, it seems. Yeah, let's jump into the abyss of nothingness. Honestly, we're just acting out Darwin's theory of natural selection. How do I stand up again? Damn it, I dropped the lighter. You good, Barack? You're acting worse than I do at a podium. Yeah, I just gotta get my head into the game. I was wondering why you're so organized around us, but like a brain-dead chicken in front of others. Who, me? Well, th that sentence could apply to both of you depending on how you see it. But yes, Joe, I'm talking to you. I'm not a fan of these noises, I'll tell you that. It might just be in front of crowds. Even though I'm used to public speaking, there's always that assumption that you have to meet expectations. And sometimes that persona of mine gets a bit exhausted. Easiest way around that is to stop caring about opinions. And start caring about why my screen is being weird. That's not good. Just back up, Obama. It's best to approach with caution. Oh, no, no, no. What the hell is that? Who cares? Just run, damn it. I am. It's locked. Ah. Just try to outrun it. He's trying. This thing must have been on the track team. She's not letting up. Then keep running. I'm out of stamina. And then walk. Crawl, just get away from her. I'm trying, you gallon-sized buffoon. Shut the hell up already. Are we good? I would still keep going the other direction if I were you. Of all the questions I can ask, I'm just going to say that she does not need to be nine feet tall. If not obvious, that's the foe that we're facing. Is it also a point guard for the Lakers? Put her at half court. And LeBron would have went to finals. Not to be a party pooper, but we need to go back in there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Obama, stop. Crouch and turn off the lighter. Try to slip by undetected. Crouch and turn off the lighter. That works too. I just don't want to run into that monstrosity again. Just try to make your way throughout the school. I wish we knew what these papers were for. You probably have to... Run! So much for the crouch theory. If you lost her once, you can do it again. My thing is that she's the one screaming at us. I can't move. Shake it off. I'm trying. Let go. Hurry the hell up. I'm trying. There. Now turn the hell up. She's right behind us. I know that, Donald. I know that. Damn, a dead end. We gotta juke her. Put on a Nike. <laughs> Damn, she still hit me. Remember, you can only take so much damage. He knows that, Joe. He just got f***ing stabbed. Damn, another dead end. I gotta weave again. Woo! Whoa! Get your ankles broke! Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How do we lose this thing? You, you need to outrun it, and by a lot. If you can't lose it soon, just go back to the vents. We don't know where that is, damn it. We're never gonna outrun this thing. You were saying? Well, pardon me, I guess. Just don't be too confident when Bloody Casper comes in trying to stabby stabby. Is it too much to ask how we make progress, Joe? Well, this, those papers aren't useless. You need to collect seven of them in total. Seven of them? It's like Slenderman, but with an identity crisis. Right, you also have to keep in mind that you only have three inventory slots. So it is a game of juggle the item. Well, this sucks. We can't even look that thing in the face, let alone walk around the school. How the hell are we supposed to move freely with Michael Jackson's eight-foot cousin stalking us? I'm also gonna drop my lighter at the worst time imaginable. Something funny about that, Donald, is that there is actually a horror game based off of Michael Jackson. Are we a child in his mansion or something? Or his doctor trying to prescribe him pills? Could be both. These classrooms could use a bit of remodeling. By a hundred years. Uh... You're looking at that, right? That's a brain. Not the oddest thing we found in here, I'll tell you that. I don't know what to really do with it, so I guess it'll just stay here. We might have some extra storage space in Donald's head. Come in and kill me already, if you have the balls. Don't tempt it. Reverse psychology, Don. Speaking of psycho people, have you guys seen what's been happening in France? I know, wild stuff. It's not that far from what happened to us a few years ago. The only difference is that the French simply can't police as well as our boys in blue. No, it's due to the severe public outrage of police brutality. I agree, but to the extent of which vandalism is outright normalized, was never present amongst any cities in this great nation. I guess Chicago doesn't count as a city for you. 
You're right, it doesn't. I told the mayor many times to clean up the axe over there. You know that's way easier said than done, right? I know, I know. It's not an easy feat, I'll admit that. And I was well aware of that during our briefing. That's why I stress the importance of sending our men down there. I'll send whatever help they need. I'll send however much they want. But it's simple, very simple, that these killings can't go on. They can't. And that was back in, what, 2018? Around that time, I just knew that if it continued down the path that had been set on, there was no turning back. You weren't entirely wrong. Is she gone yet? I hope so. Oh! She was guarding us. Are, are you serious? All this lobotomy patient does is chase us. You better get to running then. Get in the door. What are you doing? Hiding. No! You should have just hit in a casket at that point. Nice try, Barack. Donald, it's your turn. Comedy Club Biden over here really thinks I'm going to play this. Well, someone has to play this. Now, who's it going to be? You. No shot. Why are we at Mr. Burns' manor? Reminds me of the entrance to old insane asylums. Wait, why didn't I think of the Capitol building? This is uh, the friends we left behind. It reminds me of what Poppy Playtime had to offer, and I thought it would be a good game to try out. Does it take place at an insane asylum or something? Reasonably, this is where we all belong anyways. Wait a minute, what if we were all just uh, one guy in an insane asylum who pretended to be us presidents? You're telling me that's not what's happening? Looks like the intro to a horror documentary. This is a children's asylum? What sort of children need a whole damn asylum? Does children of the corn count? I was more so thinking the children of David Koresh. And now we're over here cosplaying Sherlock Holmes, looking for more missing kids. Why the hell is that a common theme in these games? You know, it's always Joe who picks these games, right? Why is this guy's head built like a starfish? I think we should be more concerned why there's a guy here at all. Patrick stars in his villain arc. I see this was breeding grounds for the illegal immigrants coming in. It's an old asylum, so I doubt it's seen any improvements. Um, Did you not hear that? I guess not. We seem to always be playing as deaf characters. I think someone sees us. That's not good. And we're getting jumped. Hey, friend, wait, where's your head? I think that is his head. Ew. Why the hell did you just stand there? Maybe investigating abandoned places should be taken with more precaution. Yeah, what a situation we're in now. We have some dimwit detective leading the charge, and whatever the hell that is. Is that one of the children? Maybe the friend we left behind. Everything comes full circle. Listen, we might belong here if we're seeing all of this. And we're on to the main game for now. As a heads up, this game isn't a traditional movement style game. It's similar to FNAF in the point and click aspect. So it's confusing? We're about to find out. Well, you're about to find out. I started sister location after all, only fair. Don't even sweat it. Watch me whip these crazies back to the loony bin. We're already there. Home sweet home. A ball, big old bouncy balls. Yeah, you throw them. Don, what are you doing? I'm balling. He said he's balling. A camera? This guy's a photographer too? You're like a child at Walmart. Shut up, Obama, I'm balling. Uh, whatever helps you think you'll be able to beat the level. What am I supposed to be doing again? Taking pictures or something. This is why you should have read instructions. Even I was a bit confused. Apparently he's a big fan of balls. Not surprising, really. Oh! You are done. I don't think he appreciated your toss. Also would help if you played the game properly. We have balls and that gives us an opportunity to throw them. I will not be changing the strategy. I don't expect anything good to come from this. Let him ball in his words. We'll see what he does with it. I think there was an instruction guide that we didn't even read properly. Maybe I should start off by throwing a ball, like a Tom and Jerry mousetrap setup. Well, you can hear noises. Maybe it's working. Wait, I think he's there. Do I flash him? Maybe, well, it's too late to make an input. Can you define this as some sort of public indecency? What does that even mean? Yeah. And another death. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Well, do you have a better suggestion? Not that. So from what I got reading these instructions, apparently you're supposed to snap a photo of these things to escape. So you basically have to guide them or something. Put on your 3D glasses because the world's best security guard will pop out with success. Ah! That went well. Oh, shut the hell up. You can't do any better. Why don't we put that to the test? Barack, you're up next. Try not to throw these ones into human trafficking this time. So I take the ball and throw it there? Worth a try, I guess. It did something because he's creeping around. Uh, you want another ball? Of course you do. You love balls. Remember, we're trying to lure him over. Hold on, what are these noises? Oh, there he is. How are you going to complain about my balls, but you can just throw yours willy-nilly? 
because I'm not throwing it willy-nilly. Uh, it's like chess strategy, you know? And a bit of willy-nilly. We're all new to this, after all. Listen, don't call me out like that. Dare I jump down the rabbit hole of what this game includes? Don't be looking at me. It's a new game. Why is he not... Oh! You could beat it, my left testicle! I knew I wasn't crazy! Don. Okay, partially crazy. But regardless, you can't blame me for losing the level when you did the exact same thing. Don, you chucked a damn ball, granny style, at a door five different times. And what exactly did you do different, Mr. 44th President? At least I... I threw... Well, damn, I don't have a retort here. Well, let's see what I can do. From looking at what you two have done, I think I might have a solution. Joe Biden, everybody, looks like a diaper rash baby at a press conference, but can establish a reaction and command chain in his own head when it comes to horror games. I've said this before many times in the comments section, but Joe is not a dumb person. He's slightly delayed, but still a seasoned veteran when it comes to handling situations. I think I'm doing the right thing. A lot of it seems to be atmosphere awareness. Joe, you do not look like you're confident in your abilities. Wait, there he is. Got him! What was that, Don? He's not confident, you say? Well, pardon me. I thought they were running from us. Why are we running from them now? Well, someone's holding a Black Friday sale. I just think it's funny how every one of these games has some sort of goofball for the protagonist. And there goes whatever that item was. Oh boy, that's not good. Who the hell brought in Marilyn Manson? Looks like it's finally time. Talks like Marilyn Manson, too. All right, do we actually want to read instructions this time? Playing the record with the curtain open seems to keep Pixie happy and off the stage. It's uncomfortable when she stops in front of the stage to sing, but closing the curtain on her seems to drive her up the wall. We'll just kick her face in. Wait, she actually went up the wall and now she's climbing down. Would opening the curtain again calm her down? Maybe I'll even take her photo afterwards to make it up to her. Well, that doesn't sound that difficult. I think we can figure it out. Easy for you to say. You're not the one who's playing. He, he, he literally has the mouse and keyboard. Jeez, you almost had a heart attack saying that. And we're in an auditorium you have any idea what to exactly do, Joe? Probably something with this gramophone. Oh, all right, one thing to note is that you have to hold down the button while you're doing things. She's walking like she has to poop. What the, Don, learn how the hell to shut up. She's singing, I guess I closed the curtain now. Either that or we can keep taking pictures of whatever type of drug addict she is. And we wind up the gramophone again. And I think I take a picture now. I thought she would be crawling on the walls where... Wait, she's right there. So you just take the photo now or what? I think so. I don't think it's doing anything. On second thought, do I close the curtain? You mean open it? I mean, it's pretty much the same. She fell! Too easy for me. Why do these dolls or whatever they are freak out when they get photographed? Are they not used to being caught on camera because they're so ugly? You didn't have to violate the doll like that. Donald's been seemingly notorious for insulting video game characters. Don't sound like a dying squirrel and we won't have a problem. This guy is booking it. You can't tell me you wouldn't do the same if you heard her singing. It was like raking up leaves on a sidewalk. Well, she sent a hitman out to jump us and uh, now we're getting dragged away. Kind of what the Monopoly man does when you land on go to jail. I think that's what we're in right now, some sort of jail. I think even jail wouldn't... Excuse me? It's going to town, isn't it? Well, now it's just... Oh, it's coming right for us. Is it drunk or... Oh, why do all of you look like lobotomy patients? You look funny when you sleep. We are at a mental hospital, mind you. All I'm saying is this is the whitest thing to do. Oh my goodness, what the hell happened to the gingerbread man? Did he go through relapse? Is that why we're in a white room? I'm more concerned why they had a white room in a children's asylum to begin with. There's a sewn mosquito twerking on the walls, and that's your question? English class is in session again. If I flash my camera at the ceiling, Dolly makes a pathway with the grates. The hell does that even mean? Is she trying to lead the doll to me? Maybe I can trap it so she'll stop messing around and I can leave. We're complicating things too much here. Just beat her with the flashlight. Demon puppets are just pushovers to you, aren't they? They're not bulletproof. All I'm saying. If Dolly comes back down, I'll use my flashlight to direct her toward the doll. Maybe she'll try picking it up. Meanwhile, I can snap a picture and run. This guy must have been a part of Lady Gaga's paparazzi crew if he was being this obsessive over photos. I feel like this is what happens when you watch too many episodes of Riverdale. More like two episodes. 
So I'll be honest, I'm still a bit confused on what we're supposed to be doing. But I know it's leading this doll around. Wait, what's that noise? Sounds like a, uh, why did she drop? Why do you keep taking pictures, Joe? Are you buying into the camera fetish? No, I'm really just testing things out right now. And it seems this red light is the flashlight that the instructions were talking about. Why are you trying to flash her then? Just figuring out controls for this level. Uh, I think I got it. Ah! Itsy bitsy spider. Man, you didn't even let the cutscene play out. I just didn't feel like being taunted. You just got beat to death with a fly swatter. How do you feel? Which character arouses you this time? My money's on the doll. Don't you have some flight logs to be covering up right now? Now that Don's the pilot, I can only wonder where this plane's gonna land. You forget who's at the steering wheel. Our flight is ready for takeoff and a smooth landing. Whoa! We didn't even make it out of the airport. You crashed in the hangar. You often insert your own foot into your mouth. It's like watching Penn and Teller somehow perform the same magic act and still being amazed. We could rag on him all night. Let's just try again. From what I can tell, you have to stare at the ceiling, but also guide the doll on the ground. It's very confusing. I actually think I know what's going on. We just have to look up at the ceiling and guide through the pathway. So how do we change the pathway? Crap, she dropped down. I think you make her follow the same path that's generated once she drops down. With the same light too? I thought it was the camera. So what the hell do you have to do now? You just have to guide that thing to the doll? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be more careful while I drag this across the screen. Because if I'm too fast, I'll just break it out of the loop. Haste makes waste after all. You're doing the right thing. Okay, it's so she goes up with the doll. Now what? I guess it just drops back down in the corner. So you have to reset. And now it's just a rinse and repeat till I can get it to me. I still haven't jumped through the sonic rings to comprehend why the hell we're even in this place. Why is this detective so stubborn to investigate a freak show? In all honesty, there's a lot of things that you can question. Uh, the big one that I'm wondering is how do these figures relate to the missing kids that were referenced in the beginning? Watch it be some kids getting stuffed into some nylon puppets. That's just what we need, some more hauntings. Well, it's really close to me now. I think I have to get it behind me and onto this bed, right? That's what I gathered. Okay, now it's restrained. Now I just have to get the bug-eyed creature over here and snap a picture, right? That's what I understood from the instructions. Otherwise, we're just gonna get used and abused by the moth man. It's like a corn maze for alcoholic dads that live in trailer parks. Uh, she's right here. How do I do this? Director passed you, I guess. There she is. Wait, what the hell? Get over there. Hell yeah, you could say it was a moth to a flame. Fuck you all, that was a good joke.